Uh. Yeah, is, uh, there we go. The freestyle <laughs> by Corey Holcomb and this bitch. Because I don't like your daughter, bitch. I, I don't like your daughter, bitch. Ever since I saw the little hoe, niggas knocking on my motherfucking door. <laughs> is Trina there? Is she coming out? I say, hey, put that thing in that bitch mouth. Cause I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> Going in my refrigerator. Every nigga that nut in her. Somehow they hate her. Oh. Her two kids that she kept because she thought them dudes was going to give a fuck. <laughs> but then they ducked out on her ass. <laughs> fuck that silly slut. Even though that bitch do got a big ass butt. But I won't fuck her though. Because it's your daughter. But get the daughter out of my face before the slaughter. I don't like your daughter, bitch. Oh, I told you he has some shit. I don't think she curses him out. No? No. Fucking lie. There you go. Hell yeah, they always. No. Shut the fuck up, Frank. What it do, motherfucker? <laughs> What's up, y'all? Uh, we was just asking, do Frank and Genevieve have arguments where they cuss each other out? <laughs> All right, and I said I don't. That was an uncomfortable so. laugh, Frank. Oh 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 oh! <laughs> Something you need to share with us, Frank? She's not here. We'll help you. You. F- what is the cuss word over there? Heinz Frick Bufak. You fag. <laughs> that's no, a that's cigarette. <laughs> Wit Well, that's not a curse word. That's bloke. Like bloke. No, that's like no, butt. Like oh, that's like my That's bloke. a fat bitch with a knife, a bloke. Bloody. <laughs> bloody is like saying fuck. Bloody it. hell. Like fucking you hell. You bloody, yeah, bloody twat. Bloody. Actually, knob. Right. I think knob is said. Knob. Oh, that's right. A fucking knob. Oh, you shit, knob. Such a fucking knob. You what does that mean? Bloody motherfucking. It's, a, it's, like you're, it's like you're a dickhead. Like the knob. The knob of a dick. A knob? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a oh, motherfucking yeah. knob, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> a knob over here, what you want them bitches to rub for? Hey. Come on, rub this dough knob for a nigga. White boy said that shit. Fucking slob on my knob and bitch. Oh, yeah, and then they use the word cock. Yeah, fucking they shit. Say cock. <laughs> so is, is my mic working this week? Is it? Yeah, yeah. Should be. Should be? Should be. Oh, somebody said they see me at Bloody Wanker. Uh, what? Yeah. It's been Which a crazy one? two weeks. Uh, what happened? Somebody said on DMV there they, they saw him they for saw hours him. today, nigga. You didn't have no um, appointment? Nah. Man, you got to get an appointment at the hey. DMV or get motherfucking AAA. It's worth buying it that day. Yeah, I should have did it, man. Yeah. I don't fuck with that DMV unless it's, you got to take the driver's test. No, I had to take. You know, I got that truck driving license and all them endorsements. So oh. I had to renew my shit. I had to take like six, seven tests. Did you have to mm. take driver's test? Or no, no, no. Just written. Just, oh, that's the hard part for you. Yeah. Oh, did you no, pass it? I, yeah, I passed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I passed. Dang. I was in that motherfucker all What's the truck day. driver question? Where you uh, dropped the bitch off from the <laughs> truck stop? <laughs> if they you don't want to catch a case. They called lot lizards. A prostitute is a lot lizard. A lot lizard. At the <laughs> truck lot. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> see, we learned something. Lot lizard, like On the ball. lot lizard side of the game. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a lot, yeah. it's a lot of girls who um, ain't lot lizards. What if what if they so tr- for truckers is lot lizard? They call it lot lizard. It's a bunch of names, but most of the most the the most common one is a lot lizard. Lot lizard. Yeah. Is your mama a lot lizard? <laughs> is that how you got here, boy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your mama got tossed up in the back of a truck. Oh. Mm-hmm. The movie yeah. Convoy and shit. Damn, that's how old I am. What happened? The what convoy? convoy? What? Movie, it's a movie called Convoy. D old enough. Yeah, of course I am older than you, kid. I don't know nothing about Convoy. Convoy, you know Chris Chris Offerston. That's oh, the yeah. old motherfucker Offerston. from Blade. Chris Chris Offerston, you know him from uh from Blade. That's from what Platoon you were known for. Wasn't he in Platoon? The karate nigga? No. The old man in Blade, oh, Whistler. Wait, I gotta see him. When he was young, he was in this movie wait, called Chris Convoy. Chris the singer. He's a countryman too. He's a country singer, isn't he? Oh. Chris Christopherson. I don't know. I thought it was the actor off. Uh, Convoy Maybe you're saying I know there's a Chris my, my, f- my first movie memory is uh, Basic Instinct. Oh. No, no, no. Wait, Fatal, your first fa- No, no, I'm sorry. Fatal Attraction. Yeah. Yeah, my mom took me. I was supposed to be sleeping in her lap, but I was watching the whole. <laughs> I remember the rabbit getting <laughs> Glenn Close ain't never been cute to me. Who? Glenn, Glenn Close. Close. The that's the, that's the, the actress with. in. Um, okay. Yes. Yeah. That bitch looked like Tomei, the baseball player. <laughs> What's his name? Some Tome used yeah, to I play for Cleveland. The nigga used to spit the yeah. tobacco. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. motherfucker had the strong ass big league Q face <laughs> in this motherfucker. <laughs> 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 the yeah, it was all sex. Job. He definitely didn't know what he was dealing with. On Michael Douglas on that movie. Yeah, 
Damn, oh yeah, it's a lot of girls out there like that though. They be like, "What that bitch said? I'm not gonna be ignored." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What a bitch tell you that? Ooh, when she said it with that face. Ooh. What's your first movie memory, Nick? First movie you remember seeing? I was scared. Very yeah. first. Very first. Well, I probably saw f- movies before that one, but because this one made such an impact, my dad took me because he was like he's all into that surviving stuff and everything. He took me to see the original Red Dawn. I don't even know what that is. Oh, Red gotta, Dawn. Shut up. No, you got to go see it with Patrick Swayze. was bomb with all those young actors in it. They were teenagers. Oh, right. Yeah. And country, different countries got together to come and attack uh, the United States. And they were landing. Like, people didn't know. And they were like, what is going on? I mean, it is dope. You got to see it. Because the kids, the parents set the kids up and say, just go to the mountains. And they, they take these big trucks, Fords, and, and they load them up with gear, guns, everything, food. And they just say, go for it. You got to go protect yourself. And they end up, you got to watch it. It's really good. They try to remake it, but it, it was terrible. That's nice. But hey. No, go see it. You <laughs> like it. <laughs> I'm gonna watch Red, Red Dawn. Dawn. Patrick Swayze, the original Red Man. Dawn. It was so good. What was yours? Nigga, yours was cornbread Man, I, early. I, I've been bumping. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that? Yeah, it was. <laughs> cornbread Corn early. <laughs> I, remember, I, remember, I remember when I was a, uh, a shouty, my mama took me to go see this movie, and I was too scared. This one made it where I was scared to sleep by myself for years. <laughs> All the old heads beyond the door. Oh, uh, yes. I, don't know uh-huh. about that. I know y'all I know do. that about it. That's an yeah. old ass. You talking about horror movies? Huh? I love horror movies. You talking about 76, 77? Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> when I was just little shouty. Man. I was like, eh. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Scaredy cat. Man. Nah, I ain't scared of shit. That's my problem. Man. Yeah, right. I just handle whatever the fuck. I don't be scared Horror of shit. Movies? I ain't scared of no fucking movie. I'll go motherfucking. Stuff. What what movie could scare now, me? Now, how about rides? See, because so, I yeah. like I ride all rides. Don't you can't. I show can't me get a on ride certain I'm... roller coasters. I throw up on your ass. Yeah. Then don't eat. Yeah. Don't you eat. Start on me in a movie, but you won't scare me. Why I'd be like, but I'd be like, oh shit. I ain't scared of shit. Well, I eat lunch in the graveyard. I just thought about it. That's your excuse, Corey. I ain't scared of shit Everybody no says more. that they don't want to get on rides. I'll throw up. I'll throw up on some of them things. Anything to go in a circle. Don't put no, me on it. No, I'm not talking about Blah. that. That's not scary. We're talking about the flip rides and the high Somebody rides. Somebody say the exorcist. And, yeah, that was I ain't was been good. on that. The exorcist? Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Look them young niggas. Or bury me a G. <laughs> Phantasm. I saw that. His name came out. Oh, yeah. Phantasm was good. We had that character in our house. Like, oh yeah, you know, like a giant character. Yeah, he used to collect stuff like. See, that. y'all talking about late seventies. Somebody say Corey's scared of bugs. He is. You <laughs> saw that. Yup, there he is. <laughs> hey, look, but I got stung by a bee before, motherfucker. If you ever got stung by a bee, nigga, that ain't no joke. It ain't Hell no nah. joke. But you know, people are doing that nowadays for treatment. But this is wait, wait, wait. You say white people doing what? Yes, exactly. <laughs> you said it just right. Motherfucker, I'm going to get stung by a bee because it's healthy. I'm going to have a bee sting and some kale this morning. <laughs> and your pussy ass out of here. Look it up. Well, they yeah. are doing shit that. on the sting side. I backed into a cactus two days ago. That shit hurt Hurts. like a motherfucker. Where, where, where it gets you at? You backed into My it? My back arm. Oh. Oh. Oh, yo, you ever back into a cactus? You're trying to no. do some self acupuncture. What was you doing? Fucking outside? <laughs> no, nah, I was fucking with my motorcycle, man. Oh. I had to sell it. But uh, you got a motorcycle? Yeah, I had that Cam Am Spider. Oh. What a Can Am Spider? Two thousand eight with yeah. the two wheels. Yeah. Yeah, I had one of them motherfuckers. I got rid of that motherfucker. That motherfucker, once you put some sounds and shit on it, that shit don't never work right again. For real, It's yeah. like a gateway computer. <laughs> Piece of shit. Yeah. Fuck a yeah. spider. Yeah, I, yeah fuck Somebody that Somebody say Corey's scared of living in Atlanta. Nope. <laughs> that might be true. Don't go wrong in Atlanta. I got a show coming up in Atlanta, goddamn. Uh oh. Don't go raw. In Atlanta, them women have been exposed to brothers who have other brothers Ooh, residue on their dicks. That, yeah. my, I'm my brother's keeper for real out there. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said Corey's scared of vegetables. Fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So scared of poet. <laughs> I can't read it. Going so fast. Well, the Gazo gave his two week notice. Someone said raw Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, don't go raw in Atlanta, boy. You go out there and visit. I don't give a fuck how thick, how bad she is. 
Hell Some nah. girl got to me today from Atlanta. You know, when you be going to them cities, they get at you on you. Right. I just wanted to know, you got a show. Um, how do I get tickets? Yeah, she had right. a t- picture of her titties out and shit. I was uh, laughing uh, my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I just yeah. said all them smiley faces like, man. Yeah, no, don't you go ain't ready to earn no Thanks, tickets. <laughs> you ain't ready. I was scared of Fruit Booty Warriors, goddammit. Mm. You ain't lying. But yo, check this out. This girl... She kind of, she kind of talked me Thanks, into doing Charles. this subject because I think like by being three people here, we could give her some good advice for a young lady, mm. right? Uh, 25, 21, something like that. How, how do they go about getting a good man <laughs> at that age? At twenty five, yeah, I knew y'all was gonna laugh. At that <laughs> I shit. know that's like you want to keep them or you want to get them. Well, no, no, no. It sounds to me like she's looking for you know somebody solid. You know what I'm saying? Right. Maybe she's ready. See, twenty five to some people might sound really young, but what if she's already had you know some kind of experience? Maybe she's date start dating young or what? Dating happened. for young black women. Is, was her father mm-hmm. there or was he not there? Well, let's just say most of them father ain't there because it's very rare that yeah. Yeah. mama got the mom and daddy living in the house. Most of the time, the daddy be texting the mama, fuck you, bitch. I'm yeah. saying, like, I, I ain't going to lie. Like, all you young ladies out here, before you can enter the dating world successfully, you have to learn your self-worth. Because if you don't know what you're worth... Some of y'all act like you know what you worth. Oh, I'm a princess. I'm a queen. <laughs> Stop. All right. All that shit sound good. But when you really know what you worth, you can go into the dating world armed with the information you need to not wreck yourself. Right. Because so many of y'all go get knocked up by somebody you like mm. <laughs> instead of somebody mm. who is worth having a family with um, a, a, a young man who is about something right. and, and people show you what they're about but a lot of times young women don't want to wait around to see what nobody about yeah, that's the thing time see you just hit that nail on the head you, that's you a- just get skeeted in by somebody with a uh, perm or cassine <laughs> or <I> got a <laughs> nice car right, right. Yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. so you, See, if you don't about? know who you are and know your self worth, you're going into the world lost. When you got a father that loves you and loves your mother, and y'all grew up together, you have a pretty good idea what you worth because you see what your mother is, how your mother is treated, how a man is supposed to treat a woman. Right. But when you going into this world listening to your mama who footsteps have led to nothing but wretchedness. Mm. <laughs> her footsteps ain't took her nowhere. Mm. You enter the world behind. So learn your self worth. Unless you have somebody that you can really look up to. I mean I mean, I don't wanna like pat myself on the back, but I've been I've I'm really close to a lot of the younger girls. In a lot of my friends' families, like if they get ignored or whatever, they really kind of gravitate towards me, you know, like, oh, Auntie Darlene or Cousin Darlene, whatever. Like, they Do y'all really want a nigga with a pony still? Very funny, no. They, you know, they just want to see how they ca- I carry myself and stuff like that. So. How I get a nigga with a deep voice and a pony still? Very funny. <laughs> they like hanging out with me. And they and they and they inquire with my family. They ask like, "What was Darlene like when she was young?" And my aunt said, "Oh, she'll date a dude." And then the moment that something's wrong, because I was too young, and I'd say that, and I was like, "Why are you getting so serious? We're too young. I'm just having fun." Do you know what I'm saying? When I was a teenager, before I met old boy, and and I would but just see go. that's what we need to discuss. What is having fun, D? Well, I mean, because there's a lot of girls who might be able to understand what having fun is, right? And someone use that to, as right. a weapon. Well, no, to someone to handle to the, what happens when they get. Well, when you're that young, see, she's what, like you said, at 22, 25, I don't know if she's ready to settle down or not yet. Like I said, it's it's different for everybody, but me, myself, I was younger than that, and I and I thought I was ready already, you know, when I met old boy. But even before him, I went out and had fun. Like, I had boyfriends, and then we'd go see the movies together. You know, we'd go to uh, 
uh, uh, games, baseball right. games. They come see stuff. me play. <laughs> I'm not going to say all that. But basic stuff, right? <laughs> I, I, well, that's what I'm saying. Spending time. Oh, and spending the time with their Let family. Let me see you yeah. I have a, No, I have a lot of family functions, so they'd come over to mine yeah. and vice versa. So, you know, it's fun. Let me tell you something, young ladies. If you, if you got a if situation like you see Craig like and Corey girl, come and run. No, man. Less <laughs> is more. If you got to, if the nigga has to do a whole bunch of extravagant, extraordinary, first of his kind, Jackie Robinson type shit to make you happy, then that ain't the nigga you need to be with. Mm -hmm. You need to fuck with the nigga mm -hmm. who the simple shit satisfies you. If that's what you. you want, but then the young brother could run into one of those girls that, that is like that, wants that kind of stuff, and then you can run. It happened to my son. I witnessed it several times. But if you got to step outside yourself to make somebody else happy, that ain't the motherfucker for you. Right. Because it's going to be a point where you get tired of stepping outside and putting that jacket on. You just want to be you. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's the number one thing. Less is more. And don't expect nothing from nobody that you can't do for yourself. There you go. Don't, Good one, Craig. That's period, nice. point blank. And mm -hmm. you won't be lonely. Oh, yeah, because there was some girl today on my Twitter talking about what I'm going to do with a motherfucking broke nigga who can't do shit for me. <laughs> oh. And she had on the basic um, <laughs> tramp costume, the fake long blonde mm. hair. Uh. Eyelashes out here like this. Mosquito can't even bite the bitch. Uh -huh. Every time she blinked, the mosquito be like, ah, ah, this is, is, is this a mannequin? Right. Right. Yeah. Every time right. a nigga yeah. flirt with her, he keep rubbing his eye because them big fake eyelashes be blowing that <laughs> dust. Damn, bitch, stop thinking so hard. No, but uh, yeah, all you young ladies, uh, it's a gamble though. Yeah, but you have to be. In the mindset to understand what you do that's on you. Don't get But y'all under the mindset that what what I do, I'm going to get the government to fix it. <laughs> 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 no, that mm -hmm. shit ain't going to do nothing mm -hmm. but put you in the same and, path and, your mama in. And gone are the days of that. Because you remember people used to use a lot of that. The services and stuff provided by the oh, government. Yeah. And that's then they get Saturday. themselves trapped. Nowadays, mm. that's just Saturday. I, might, I, might, I might not be able to get to your head the way I want to by being this blunt but I'm just being honest if your mama was a single mom chances are she fucked up <laughs> and once in a while single moms is in a situation where some motherfucker did them dirty and they had to get the fuck away from them right some motherfucker didn't come out the bag right away right he was slick with his mm. where she found out later who he was right but most single moms was like, I still want to give some pussy. Mm. <laughs> that should be the theme of single moms. The, I still want to give them some pussy crew. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You knew he wasn't shit. You knew he wasn't shit. He showed you what you needed to know, God damn it. Only Choose really wisely, good. of course. Only thing yes. a single mind should be telling you is how to keep a nigga away from you. If you want to break up with a nigga or get rid of a nigga, then that's when you need to talk to your mom. But other than that, to keep a nigga. <laughs> Did you hear what he said? <laughs> he said, if you want to break up with a nigga, get advice from your mom. Mm. Or keep him away. Let's look at your mom. All the, all the single ladies out there, look at your mom right now. I know that's your mom, and you love her no matter what. But look at that. Is that what you want for yourself? You got to do better than that. Set an example for your mom. Hell yeah. If she more than 50 pounds overweight, she lazy. Your mom's a lazy bitch if she more than 50 pounds. That's hell, fucked bro. up, Craig. That is too much. I'm just saying. Let's, I mean, shit, let's keep it 100. What if she don't take water pills? Uh, <laughs> No, nah, I'm playing. No, he not. <laughs> if she's under 50 and she's 50 pounds underweight, she lazy. She under 50 and 50 pounds overweight, she lazy. Yeah. Oh, what about this? Is this fair to say? Don't know Don't know how to eat properly. Ain't never took a nutrition class. Right. Because I'm here to tell you, man, it's people where I'm from, man. Them motherfuckers think they eating right if they just... Don't put the sauce on the gyro. <laughs> no, I don't want no sauce on there. I'm trying to drop. Yeah, yeah, but cheese is good. Put the cheese on that motherfucker. They think because yeah. they only eating chicken and fish that they eating they right. They think right. Yeah. Yeah. Give me a I piece of puff and a diet coke. Look, I'm not eating the red meat. I'm a fish fillet. 
Yeah. <laughs> fish fillet <laughs> sandwich. Yes, yeah. Right. They don't even know what kind of fish that is. No. It's fillet of something. That's mm. fish head squeezed out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Somebody know. say soul food every day. <laughs> oh, they got good uh, soul food spots on now. That Violet pretty healthy. Bloom say her mom's been married for twenty six years. God damn it, that mean that puts it on point. That nigga mm-hmm. like I'm gonna do my thing, but I ain't getting, I ain't leaving this motherfucker. Hell no, that's <laughs> what, that's what you want to get advice from her. Somebody say Corey be sending K, uh, keg and water to single mom <laughs> in that Bobby container. <laughs> Give me that old Folgers can over there. <laughs> no, single moms, but if they're not ready to focus on their kids. Just Give me that grocery store bag and let me tie it up with this cake and water. If any of your brothers and sisters uh, don't live with y'all, I probably wouldn't take advice from that, you know. Any mom that's willing to, single mom that's not living in the same household as her kids, under the age of 13. So are you saying women who are not with their kids... Something wrong with them? Yeah, I believe so. Well, and there's I believe a big that. double standard because people think that it's okay, well, that the dude, you know what I'm saying, oh, he remarried or he's got women over around his children. They seem to think that that's okay. What? But the women, they, I the don't dude. think it's good either way. I think you got young children. When you have your children around, whether they're visiting or they live with you, why yeah. are you going to have all these strangers around? Whether right. it be a woman over the man's or the men over the women's. It's I like, agree. Are you not concentrating on your children? You're not raising them? I mean, you're giving time up to this other person. I think younger. I'm, I'm sorry. A baby five and under, if the mama ain't with that baby, it's just something. Man, let me tell you something. Wrong, hey. If your mama ain't around you. She ain't raising you. She up until custody. at least 16. Right. She wow. failed. Wow. Yeah. 16? Yeah. Okay. If you're a mama, you're not finna let your baby face the world before that. Right, right. In, the, in, in nature... Uh, supposed to kids get the fuck away from the nest fast because the parents will run them the fuck away well because right. they want them to grow that's actually teaching them right that's what people need to do once you're big enough to fend for yourself right. get the fuck on I'm gonna teach you how to eat that bird had a nest it. up there I remember that bird was bringing them little babies that food yeah, them did. little babies got a little size that bird was like I'll peck the shit out your ass <laughs> yo get the fuck away from my nest right, right. get y'all crying ass so out of here right. yeah, yeah, yeah. you can fly now nigga right, <laughs> then you right. come in the house late Get your ass the fuck them. Ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but that 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 advice, man, that we trying to give, man, is we acting silly with it, but we really hope all you little young bitch, I mean young ladies, uh, go out there and do what's good for yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, yeah. I want you to make it. I don't want you to be talking about he 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 he. Right. But you had a baby with he. Mm. That ain't that yeah, ain't no good luck. Yeah. Said Craig facts will get you killed. Yo, <laughs> Craig facts. <laughs> <laughs> no, Nick, oh here's the here's the number one thing I'm gonna teach my daughter. Your journey is your journey. Just because you marry somebody and you with somebody, that don't mean that you know what I'm saying you got to stop doing you and that person got to stop doing them. Whatever mm. you want to get accomplished in life, that's your shit. Do you? And, and and find solace and find happiness and and the things that you could accomplish for yourself. When yeah. you marry somebody, that don't separate the fact that you are two individuals. Mm. That just means y'all got a commonality that y'all love each other and like each other, and y'all agree to be there for each other. But your own journey <laughs> is your shit. That's what I said. I look like a glow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This daddy land, nigga. That's, That's what somebody said. Water. There you right. go. Anyway, my shirt's sexy. On on another note, man, uh, the homie. Tariq Nasheed went through some bullshit this week. Yeah, that, that was right? foul. Oh, I don't know about it. Don't know. Some, um, you got to be careful, man. That was some f- bigots uh, correlated with some more bigots, a.k.a. the police, and brought drama to my man's house. To his house? How do they bring drama? To his, what do you mean? Um, I, I want to make sure I say it right. They reported... Um, Shit, I don't want to say it wrong. Mm. They reported something where the police came to to Reek House. These are some racist white people. Where the police come to your house uh, with that guns drawn shit for like a call. Talking about a we bomb. got a bomb. They said he had a bomb in yeah, the house. Yeah, something like that. A bomb, and uh, you know, yeah, a bomb threat, and uh, you know, my man had to come outside and get handcuffs put on him and. All that bullshit that, you know, 
they say ain't supposed to happen if you're a, a hard working man, but when you can happen to us, it's happened to me when I was yeah. and an address on the floor and everything. I, I want to hear about that in a second, but I want to say to Tariq, man, man, I told you when I saw you and we talked, you the black CNN. You give a lot of good information and you be putting them, them racists on blast. And it's really quite a sacrifice what you do. What you do is some shit that is needed. Somebody has to be that motherfucker. Yeah. And all that come with that, I hate that you out there by yourself. We alone. You understand what I mean when I say that? We don't have protection. We don't have a mob to handle shit that's got to be handled for us. If something happens to my brother Tariq, uh, if something happens to uh, uh, all the good brothers, it ain't no repercussions. The police right. do what they want to do. And ain't nobody out here doing nothing about it but marching. It ain't no motherfucker that's finna mob on the police. Get the officer that do dirt to the black people that get done wrong. Kill him and his family. That's how I feel. And I ain't scared to say that. It's an eye for an eye. You got a motherfucker. Not only chop off the motherfucking head of the dragon, you got to chop off the head of the leadership. And we don't really have nobody like that. So everybody who steps out on a limb and speaks the truth against the system, against the racists, the people who came to this country uh, on, on the movie uh, Black Panther, they called them colonizers. Right. They colonizers. That's what they are. If you speak out against the colonizers of this country, you out there by yourself. And I really hope that we find a way to make it where we not out there by ourselves. We need to find a way where when something happened, it ain't nobody heading toward the people who did it with a march. Mm. Motherfuckers need to be heading toward the people who did it with them things. That way Motherfuckers know it's repercussions for fucking with us. This is what we need to build a coalition um, on. And in this internet age where the babies and the and the lames who are taught to put everything on camera, you know what I'm saying? It's like we up against a lot. But I, ever since I saw that shit, I've been thinking about what it would feel like for the police to come to your house and you ain't even did nothing. Right. And put you in cuffs in front of your peoples and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. right. I don't like that shit. I don't like well, that get shit. Ready. That's... Yeah, man. Get ready. We got to motherfucking find a way, man. All this shit, uh, the dialect, talking about it right now is 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 the beginning steps. But we got to find a way to protect our own. When you see the police trying to kill somebody by smothering them like they do. We need to have shit set up where we busting at them motherfuckers and not standing cameras up at them motherfuckers. You watching them do something to somebody and you just got a camera doing this. Right. The fuck is that? This motherfucker trying to kill. That could be you. Right. Your brother. Your mother. You saw the lady get into that argument? I mean, that fight with the police and flipped his ass? No, I didn't see that. <laughs> Man, it's so much bogus shit out here. These motherfucking cops... I think somebody said policy enforcers. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They got the green light. They know that. Hey, man, look. So whatever the fuck we do out here to certain citizens, there is no repercussions for it. Right. Yeah, I'm bold enough to say most of the time if the police approach you in the streets and you unarmed, you in danger. Most definitely. You better do exactly what they tell you to do. Now they come into motherfuckers' houses on some bomb threat shit yeah. without checking the source. And even if they do check the source, why can they make a fake threat and nothing happens? Let me tell you why. Because mm -hmm. the police on their side. Right. Well, you, Craig, Darlene, me, you can get pulled out your house and laid down for nothing. And that damages your family when they see you laid down like that well, for nothing. Well, unless you're used to it, like 
Yeah. I'm saying it take a special mm-hmm. type of woman to understand this how it yeah. go. If you're these, part we of the up against we right. we at war. We at war with these motherfucking uh, racists, right. these bigots, yeah. Yeah. these colonizers. We at war with them. Uh, so when they come to your house, oh my god. Mm-hmm. <laughs> these motherfuckers come to your house you know you ain't no drug dealer right. you ain't right. no motherfucker who got shit in your house well these motherfuckers need to be running up in there on you like that right. and my brother had to go through that shit because he gives information to put motherfuckers in the right frame of mind they need to be in for when this shit jump off Right. so brother uh, Tariq I'm, I'm praying for you man uh, what happened maybe we could talk on the phone yeah. this week everything cool he was saying everything was cool that's no, what made what me did ha- what happened that people actually saw what was the the outcome of that oh, like man. The, I didn't what do you mean had the SWAT team at no was time? it on the news yeah was it, was on, on it was on the news and so what did they say that was he arrested did they no it is what? I, there's a name for what happened <laughs> it's a name no I'm like, serious because I, I swatting so somebody like anywhere could be it could have been anybody anywhere in this country. Somebody had called in. No, I know about that. I'm saying I was wondering what ended up happening at the end of that. Like, did they say it? Did they show it? Did they? It was a know? news clip. Tariq was talking. That's what calmed me when I heard him say it. Oh, Thing so it was is cool. after. So that was after the. the yeah, but okay. when, but but whatever happened when the police come to your house, somebody can get shot. Somebody unarmed can get mm-hmm. shot. You, your kids. There is no repercussions for that. Yeah, he handled it right, though. You got to handle it like he did. You got to use your brain. You're not going to beat the police. If they already there and they got the drop on you, just do what they say and just be calm. And hope that and hope you, can get you ain't dealing that. with no bogus motherfuckers right. mm-hmm. that are basically trying to do something to you. Right. Yeah. Because my opinion is it's luck if you don't get no motherfucking racist-ass cop because most cops... Most most Caucasian cops, in my opinion, mm-hmm. are racist. That's what I know of them. And then they got some um, minions, yep. little black minions that want to be able to sit in the room and get a pat on the back. And you know what I'm saying? They'll do <laughs> shit to you too out there. Hell but yeah. most shootings of unarmed African American people are done by Caucasian cops. Well, that's a right. good segue into the next. Caucasian yes. cops. So, brother. Um, wow. Uh, so, brother Tariq, man, let's just. Uh, I'm, I was trying to let things air out, but I'm gonna get in touch with you. There's enough of us who have uh, intentions that are well, and the courage to uh, maybe start something. Maybe start something to help us be in the position we need as people and it's going to take a lot of sacrifice but I'm here to tell you I'm down I know how life really go I know like when something happened to you man it's cold blooded especially out here in California man when when you die <laughs> you are treated as spillage <laughs> on the road <laughs> yeah, I mean like What's well, a business? Like, right. Like anything else. It is a business. Yeah, That's yeah. Right. Out here in California, uh, like if something happened to you, like let's say you die. Uh, if you on a public street, I think they will pick you up off the street and take you somewhere. Yeah, they got a big morgue in East L.A. with all the bodies. Yeah. They got thousands of mm-hmm. bodies in there. They got Five, six thousand unclaimed bodies in there. Hundreds mm-hmm. come in a day. If you die, if you got, if you got, if you, if you drop dead on the street or you sh- murdered on the street in L.A., they will get you up off the street. But if you die somewhere that's not on the street, even if they come check to see if you, you know, you call nine one one, they come, they check it out, and they be like, yeah, he did. They don't even take your body no, out here. You gotta wait around. You, you have gotta, to. You have to have money. Wow. To have somebody come get the body. You don't just. They don't just come take the body no more. They. They be like, oh, you have to call a morgue. Yeah. And the hustle or, begins. Or the cemetery. So if you already had it planned with the cemetery, they'll come get them first too. So it depends. You on mean what people you with insurance. No, 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 no. People that already knew they were going to die. See, I dealt with a lot of people from hospice, so when they know they're going to die, that's already set up. So they, they have it set up with the cemetery, right? They already know that that they're going to come get them first before. But the if you coroner. die unexpectedly, 
like let's say you 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 die in, in, hmm. <laughs> you die watching TV That's at it, um, yeah. at the crib. There's no service to come get you for free. You gotta pay mm-hmm. for that. We hold yeah. you up. What we put took your we we have they leave you there. Right. You you might be in there with your little kids. They'll be like, well, God damn it, it costs money to come get them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I didn't know that, man. It's but you find this out. When the tragedies happen and shit like that. Wow. And me knowing shit like that, I think about shit like that. Like, if something happened to somebody, like, when the police come to your house, hmm. they might take you out because they shot you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. That might be the only reason. <laughs> right. Well, we shot them. We got this one. Yeah, we'll pick can. up the tab on this one. Right, right. But it's really cold. <laughs> Blooded man. Hey, that's some yeah. cold shit. Again, like that's why I, it was a story. That's why I don't fight in public unless I absolutely have to. Yeah, it's dumb. You don't know. Or, who or get you into fight. it with motherfuckers because, man, let me tell you something, man. Once what, you go, there, Corey, yeah. your body is some cold shit. I just seen motherfuckers out here. It was this motherfucker who died on a motorcycle, and they was doing all the paperwork. They was turning that motherfucker over like this and then let him go. Like his body wasn't shit. Right. He was like this. You know what I'm saying? I was like, <laughs> I wow. No, I'm just saying. No. I, and, and like, okay, for whatever reason, I done seen this shit. I be like, you know, mm. that's why you don't need to be fucking with motherfuckers except motherfuckers you really fuck with. Right. Because when something happened to you out here, yeah. Nigga. It's cold. Mm. It's cold. That that's why y'all remember the story about the lady in Victorville, her her uh, her you know where Victorville is. Mm-hmm. That's uh, in the middle on the way to Vegas, ass motherfucker. Yeah, town. yeah, but it's still Southern California though. Mm-hmm. Her husband died, and they wouldn't come pick up the body, so she just buried that nigga in the front yard. <laughs> he was just, and, and and they didn't realize it till months later. They you know they came. What, what happened to your husband? It's like. I buried him in the front yard. What else I'm going to do? <laughs> That's how it used to be. This yeah. Wild Wild West. Yeah. Yeah. You ever seen that movie, Wild, uh, Deep Cover? Wild Wild West. <laughs> yeah. Wild Wild West, motherfucker. <laughs> how much they charge to pick up a body? Starting well, at about two. And it depends on how long, too, you house it. So if they if they had to house it. Don't want no freedom. funeral. You don't want no funeral out here in Southern California. Oh, I saw that up there. Somebody say an average funeral out there is $7,000 in Ohio. Oh, it's yeah. more. It's if not, you it's want a funeral, to cremate either, it's like the, 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 the people at the, at the, at the, at the mortuaries be like, oh, you want a funeral. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, we got one. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. why I'm out here, I see a lot of people having funerals where the body ain't there. They have memorial just services. Picture. Yeah, just a memorial service and a yeah, picture. Yeah, because it's photo. expensive to, oh, you want to transfer the body to the church? <laughs> Wait, do you need police escort? What? <laughs> like, yeah. ching like a mom. Right. Yes. What programs? Okay, hold on. It's <laughs> better to keep your loved ones that died in a big-ass freezer <laughs> until the funeral. By a house freezer. Right. When they mm-hmm. die, just hit that button. Z- in the freezer till we can bury them because you motherfuckers on that bullshit. Yeah, well, there's a lot they of They take reasons. advantage of your shock yeah. and, and you your pain. Know. Yeah. And, you know and your that. ignorance. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Cremation used to be like about a G ball or something. It's not that cheap yeah, no more. Not yeah. that cheap no mm-hmm. more. God damn it. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, man. Motherfucker. Mm-hmm. That, that, you make some money if you got a crematory. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Out here, god damn it. Yeah, that's nasty. I mean, when I took my dog to get cremated, mm. that motherfucker, they, they got that look down pack. I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> I'm so sorry for your loss. See, see, see. Right. In the back, the <laughs> motherfuckers be listening to the headphones. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. happened to you, motherfucker? <laughs> 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 Dang it. <laughs> yeah, that's Gold. fucked up. Uh. Gosh, darn it. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody said it was Apple Valley, Apple not Valley. Victorville. Oh, they right next to there. each other. Yeah. yeah, Google everything I you know, say. They right. be precise. 100. It'll be on your Craig facts, man. They got to be precise. I'll be reading. You know what I meant. You know that got to be. Anyway. Yeah, that's crazy. That's wild. I got my cat in ashes. Really? My mom bought me a cat when I was eight. Jazzy. Oh, Jazzy. Jazzy. You had a gay cat, huh? No, it was, it was a bro. girl? Yeah, it was a girl. Okay, bro. okay. Cool. Rest in peace, Jazzy. She didn't die till I was like 29. 30? So she was old. She lived over 20 years. Yeah. Damn. Oh, she did good. Yeah. 
Got the ashes at the My motherfucker, oh, my oh, dog is. died. I was sad than a motherfucker. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I shed a tear. I what, know. nigga? Yeah, I was <laughs> crying like a motherfucker. I, my dog died in front of me, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> that motherfucker had a heart attack. I was like, God damn it, I can't save him. For real? What? Okay. Nigga, I done seen some cold shit. I done seen some cold shit in my lifetime. When I was a young nigga, I used to be scared of death. Yeah. yeah. I went to a funeral too young. That's what it could spook you. Right. If you go to a funeral too young, sometimes it works this way, yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah, yeah. it works that way. Right, right, right. My friend got killed when I was young. That nigga fell under this truck. And when I went to the funeral, it was a tire track in his face. Damn. No bullshit. And I didn't expect to see that. Right. Mm. Man, that 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 vision was in my head for years. It fucked me up. Mm. Now, I ain't scared of yeah. shit. Yeah, seeing with yeah. us, they start as young little family. Oh, yeah? Mexico, they'll take you to services. and Plus, we help take care of the people before they pass. So we've seen so many of our loved ones pass in front of us. Who is we? My family. Like, oh, people family? my family, kids, children, because everybody helps out, you know what I'm saying, take care of somebody sick. So we right. see great-grandma, auntie, everybody pass away. And then you get going the services, so everybody come on, say goodbye, you know, and everybody's looking at the body, so... Yeah. That's how it was. Yeah, well, that, it, I guess it works for some people. For me, it spooked me. Huh. Well, that's terrible though to see that. And you yeah, that's he died, and that's yeah. We saw him fall under the truck. We was all out there. Oh, damn! Like what? A regular truck or like a diesel? I right, like around the schoolyard. You know, so we had recess. High? Elementary. Oh. Uh, everybody would hop on the back of the truck when them trucks go by, and most truck drivers just be they be stuck. They can't move. Well, this one truck driver just picked up speed. And everybody was jumping off the truck because he picked up speed. Well, this one guy in my classroom tried to jump off the truck. Back then, them bell bottoms was out. Oh, oh wow. And his leg got caught on the thing, and he fell under the truck. Damn. And we didn't know what the fuck to do. Everybody was just stunned. I bet that fucked up the whole neighborhood. Because can you imagine, like, recess? Man. Everybody outside. Hey, let's go back in. And and nope. Everybody saw that shit. Damn. It was fucked up, man, when yeah, I lived in the projects, up. man. Mm. That's what fucked me up. When I, every time I used to hear a truck go, make a sound like it hit something, yeah. I'd do this. So do you stop wearing bell bottoms? We didn't have, no, I didn't stop wearing bell bottoms. <laughs> we didn't have counselors come to the school. Right. Like, like, st- like they yeah, do like with. They do now. Let me go. Oh, they do that? Do they do that at all the schools? They do. The, they do. I ain't gonna lie, dog. When, we, when that shit happened to us, we just had to handle that shit. Yeah, that, mm. man. We was all spooked. Everybody that's, was spooked. That's wild, man. Yep. That is. Hell yeah. I won't, I, won't, I, I won't say his name. Oh, but you Out do Out of know. respect. Okay. Uh, it was when I was living in the projects. Uh, and I, shit, man. I was, that motherfucker was in my classroom. You know what I mean? Yeah, you yeah, know we, we was all on that truck. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. So I'm just saying this death shit cold blooded man. It is. So uh, as I as we segued into that, we was talking about what could happen with these crooked ass cops. So I'm just saying uh, 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 to all of the people who are hoping one day something is done about what's going wrong in the world with the 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 way the cops are doing something. I'm smart enough to know that this is a plan. That's bigger than me. I mean, I ain't stupid. I know that when you leave out the house and they run your license plate, they got enough information to know who you are and chances are if you have representation just off the address that's on the plates. Mm -hmm. That's what people don't even think about. If you live in a certain area, which is why people be like, why you won't buy a house over here? It's cheaper. I (laughs) I know what the game is over there. They on that bullshit over mm. there. You belong, you are meat for the lions over there. The lions meaning the police. When they run that plate, oh, we got us one, the unrepresented. Right. Mm-hmm. So when you get ready to buy a house, you better think about where you buying that house. Because mm. your kids are, suscept- are susceptible to being fucked over by the cops. Because the cops know you don't have a representation to do nothing about what the fuck they do. How about that? <laughs> I know that much. I'll give you that much of the game. Somebody say Corey Hoodie bipolar. You know what? Oh. It's a weird that, shirt. Look how this shirt is. made. He it goes. It goes. 
One side is longer than the other. Oh, so it's like a Joker thing. So it's yeah. almost like, yeah, it's like silly. Like yeah. your court, court gesture uh, sweatshirt. Yeah, yeah, this is my weirdo <laughs> shirt. <laughs> practical. You know, when my cat died. Now or later gear. When my cat died, I was so emotional. I you finger know, fucked it? Fuck out of here. I didn't know what to do with the body. I did not know what to do with the body. I had that motherfucker in the bath towel for a day, nigga. You bullshit. Yeah, like, what the fuck do I do with but this body, nigga? Where were your parents? Nigga? What do you huh? mean? Where were your parents? Oh, you already older? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. I started. When my dog died. I picked him up. We drove him to the motherfucking hospital. I, I knew he was dead when I picked him up, though. Yeah. I could feel it. I was like, this is dead weight. So I'm in the car. Plus, he died with his eyes open. Oh, so man. I'm driving. I look back. That motherfucker was like, "Motherfucker, I'm already dead." <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Like, oh my god! Oh, so he was rushing. He had a little. Swerve. I was driving, and when I took him in there, and when I was holding him, the nurse was like, <laughs> I "Was like, I know he's dead." So they went back there. They tried to revive him. Yeah. That's part of the hustle. Right. They just yeah, did that yeah. for you. This yeah. the hustle. You'll get the bill. Yeah, you'll get the bill. They had a little one. bullshit defibrillator right. to you. <laughs> Come out there. We can keep trying to. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's gonna be another two fifty. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I say that shit to you <laughs> to let you know that uh, if you take your cat to the to the hospital mm -hmm. or something, they'll take them. You went to the regular hospital? No, uh, I went to the animal uh, hospital. Okay. Yeah. Out here, it's a twenty four hour animal hospital. There's oh, a lot okay. of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. They'll, even they'll take them. Yeah. And what they wind up doing is they'll charge you something to um, just um, dispose of the body. Or if you want it cremated, they charge. They they they'll set it up for you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. It ain't as expensive with animals. I have all my right. dogs' ashes, all different. What you gonna things. do with them? What do you mean? I have them in storage. Well, <laughs> I'm saying like, like what happened them. one day on one day I saw this dude on ESPN. He was from Cuba, and when he was, you know, when they started having flights to Cuba, mm -hmm. he went to Cuba, and he spread his um, father and his brother ashes out there in the sea in Cuba. Because that's where they live. Because huh? he said that's where they're from. Um, uh, and I think the reason he did it because he was getting older. He's an older dude. What's you get what I'm saying? Like, right. what's gonna happen when I'm gone? Well, I'm so gone. it was perfect. Right. It was perfect to do that. You yeah. get what I'm saying? So, yeah. even though you get the ashes, I think one day it all it all go back to the sea. Of course, For I don't sure. care. In the beginning, though, you want to. It's almost like you just don't want to let go. Right. And you got him. Oh, they're so cute. One's a little doghouse with his picture in the front of the day that he you know died. Yeah. Like right before he got sick. And then I be talking one, to my bulldog. He yeah. had ashes. I be like, man, I hate you, Dad. There's some thick ass bulldog bitches <laughs> walking around this motherfucker. Stupid. This one bulldog be like this. <laughs> How old was he? <laughs> My dog lived long. He lived like 11 and four months. 11 Mine years, 11. four months. For a bulldog, that's yeah. big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. That's big. You don't get another it one? It is. It is. I, 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 I always give um, um, my wife a lot of credit for um, not, she, she, never, she was scared to let the dog go out and fuck with other dogs. Oh. <laughs> he might get bit. Oh, God. <laughs> you guys are absolutely no fun. That was no life. And mine lived at the dog park. You know what I'm saying? We were there in yeah. the morning and the evening. and we used to up. walk yours at the dog park, right? Every dog. Oh, I believe oh, in letting dog. the dog be a dog. Yeah, hell yeah. But I, I was traveling a lot. You know what I mean? Yeah. I travel almost every week, so. Right, right. I'm saying. It's, it is what it is. Human. Yeah, he was, he was a human. <laughs> Craig, so you had a cat, huh? Had a cat, Jazzy. Siamese cat. Vicious. Oh. I Siamese wanted a pit a bull. <laughs> yeah, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I, I wanted a pit bull, but we couldn't have it where we lived at. They could be friends. Right. So I, I raised her like a dog. I used to walk her and fight her. With, I used to do all <laughs> kinds of crazy. She used to fight a cat. Hell yeah, yeah. I used to fight that little motherfucker. She had heart. Yeah. Who she oh. used to fight? Other cats. That's mean. <laughs> But I was I, young I when I was doing it. I was probably like 10, 11. You a weirdo, nigga. <laughs> you try to fight her. That's that mass killer. murderer. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you're going to be a serial killer. When no, you no. She used to. That's what she liked to do. She liked to fight. Yeah. That's funny. Boy, <laughs> man, fuck y'all, nigga. Y'all still gagging on my shirt, nigga. Child motherfucking ass out of here. That's why. <laughs> King of diamonds. That's funny. Teal sequence color hoodie ass. That's why we about to go on here. That's why I said morning and evening. I take her Make this show a little yes. more rougher. We about to bring in a oh. part of the show to make you pay for all that shit you talking to me. Is it a game tonight? Ain't Is the, it? Ain't the Cavs playing tonight? I don't know. I ain't I'm been watching. That, I thought the Cavs play tonight. I don't know. I ain't been watching. They'll let you know. Is the Cavs playing tonight? Hmm. Somebody say what happened to Bobby and shit. 
<laughs> that, that, that motherfucker going fast as hell. I that's can't, that, yeah. That's that bone thug harmony. I can't keep up with that chat room I can't shit. See one thing is when I look up, it's gone. Somebody said a game tomorrow. Tomorrow, oh, okay. Okay. We'll see. Go on mm. with that. These loose talk about bullshit. Thank you. I'm going to try my best to make it happen. I don't have any of my glasses today. You ain't got none of your glasses? Well, how you going to read that shit? It's far away and I have it as big as I can get it. <laughs> so just bear with me. Anyway, hmm, talking about the police and some incidences, huh? So here we go. Uh, the Milwaukee police video, right, um, from uh, for that Sterling Brown incident, you know, the Milwaukee Bucks where he was tased. Mm-hmm. You know that oh, one, right? Oh, they tased him. Well, they tased him. Anyway, now the, uh, the, f- rele- the videos were released now from four different angles. It shows the police joking and making some comments that they never thought would make it out. Uh, and one of them, you can actually hear them strategically uh, t- trying to get their stories lined up and also cracking jokes. Um, they, they were sp- white? Of course, Thank yeah. you. And they when you say police, you mm-hmm. take away from it. Yeah, okay, so white police men. Yeah. Uh, they also said if this gets out at the end of the one of the tapes, it says, man, if this gets out, uh, people will be making a big deal about it and calling us racist and all that. Uh, what should have been, it, it should have just been the, um, their superior said was a simple citation issued, but it didn't. So they ended up tasing him. And you can actually see the proof because on one of the calls, the, the cops calling it in and saying, oh, yeah, and he got, you know, he got a, he, he was moving a lot and he got total opposite. He was so calm, and apparently his dad's either retired sheriff or officer, but he was very calm. He's 23, I think, 22, 23, and he was totally not doing what they said. So all that is shown now on those videos, um, and they did say that he's going to press something against that. Uh, Shouldn't the cops be killed? <laughs> Fuck them motherfuckers. Oh, and guess what else? They were actually joking so tough that one of them even started to sing. You could hear it on the video. For the love of money by the OJs, because he joked with his other superior. He called and he said, "Man, we gonna get overtime for this." So oh. I think they, I think they kids should be tased publicly. I hope they got young kids too, grammar mm-hmm. school kids. They should be tased publicly in front of everybody in that young man family that got tased. That's what I think. So the police, the head, uh, head of the them cops. head of the Milwaukee police, is so embarrassed, and he said that uh, so far during this investigation, that eight officers total have been disciplined, but three on camera um, were uh, suspended with unpaid. But who knows how how long or whatever, you know? I don't know. But they said that they were so embarrassed, and of course, yes, they handled it wrong. All he was was he was part. Why are they crooked. saying they handled? I hate when they word it the way they word it already. Sugar coats it. Right. They handled it wrong. It they bigots. And they own force because they bigots, because the people who hired them are bigots. This is a white versus everybody else war. I'm not saying all white people are bad, but what I'm saying is if you're a white cop, chances are you a bigot. That's how you got on the force. It's your brotherhood. Mm-hmm. All the races. There it is. Boom. Moving on, yeah, that was terrible. So definitely, he's going to do something about it. Like I said, his father—they've got some. He's got some people in law enforcement, his family. So anyway, moving on. Uh, so of course, you heard everybody's talking about the Trump deal. You know, he claims that he's disinvited the Philadelphia Eagles once he found out that only four to possibly ten players and the mascot were only coming. So Trump said, "Oh, well, uh, I'm still going to have a party. Only this time, I'm calling it the Celebration of America instead," which he had earlier today. And what he did was he had the Army's chorus and the Marines band perform. And he sent out a mass. And the only reason people know that is because one of the actual employees at the or staff from the White House shared that email that they all got an email talking about you better come so that so that it can look like people were there in the audience. And it was just <laughs> <laughs> and it was employees and staff. So anyway, the best response came from the Eagles player. Uh, he tweeted out Tory Smith. He tweeted out. Dude, it's not even about the national anthem. Uh, who would want to go to a party by someone that has no respect for women, says many offensive things to minority groups, and has called my peers and my friends sons of bitches? Side note, not one Eagles player, if you think about it, took a knee anyway last season. Um, so that's interesting, you know, because yeah. he's making it that. The, the president's making it that. Yeah, it's this coon-ass bitch who worked for um, uh, number 45. Mm-hmm. Uh, her name is Candace Owens. Hmm. Uh, she got the greatest president of our lifetime. As a matter of fact, wow. not opinion. That is a black bitch. Her name is Candace Owens. 
Does she work for him? Yeah. Put a picture yeah. of Miss Owens up. Look at this bitch. Oh. <laughs> Look at this bum ass bitch. Damn. You know he made her do that. Oh yeah. But it don't matter if he made you do it. That's you true. did it. She you don't stand it. for shit. Right. You out for yours. So I just wanted to put you out there like that, Candace yeah. Owens. You a bum ass bitch who worked for a motherfucking racist. You you the you 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 Steven off Django, bitch. Not That's even right. an opinion, you bum ass bitch. Watch how your life go. Damn. It's gonna be worse than Armorosa. The Armorosa knows she she's ain't done. shit. Yeah, she's she done. She knows now. she ain't shit. But and, and to end it, as as uh, a lot of people are stating out there, how can you uninvite people that refuse to go in the first place? <laughs> I like, mean, what? it's like I know his Bowl ego is whatever, ripped. Yeah. That's why he go get the niggas that will fuck with him, like Candace Owens, bitch ass, mm-hmm. to go up and 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 big up him. It's really the thirstiest stroke. shit that he I've ever seen stroke. before in right. my life. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. I that's that's disappointing, man. Yeah. That's, that's disappointing. Terrible. That Milwaukee thing really ain't. That's that really. Nice we want to see man. from the hockey teams who go. <laughs> I better be the whole hockey teams to oh, go. Oh, they you see this divide in the country? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, the yeah. whole hockey team, whoever win the Stanley Cup, Stanley Cup. That's why I don't watch that well, shit. Well, that's why that's why people were saying, well, how come um people didn't make a big deal when Tom Brady didn't go when that when they went for Obama? Cuz Tom Brady is a politician. He playing the game. Mm-hmm. You see how he be talking crazy to motherfuckers out there on the football field? Mm. You wouldn't talk crazy to motherfuckers like that in real life. See? Men don't do that shit no matter what's going on. No matter what's going on. I ain't finna talk crazy to you because I'm in a position where I can. Right. Mm. If I say something to you that's out of pocket because this, this is genuine. This is where we at with it. Right. But a punk ass motherfucker like Tom Brady, he could talk shit to motherfuckers who are, like you say, dog walk his ass. <laughs> <laughs> because he on a field where he protected. So mm-hmm. motherfucker Tom Brady. Man, at yeah. some point... you. Niggas just can't be scared to die, man. I mean, I hate to say or it, but stand up for what you believe in. That's where they got niggas. Niggas think that if you got to live in a cowardly fashion where you can't say what you want to say and you can't do what you want to do, then why the fuck why the fuck are you here? Some motherfuckers ain't ready for revolution yeah. because no. they was raised not as soldiers. They was raised as bitches. I mean, like they did in Mama. And it, I mean, this mm. shit, you know what I'm saying? Dr. Claude Anderson gave a definition of racism that I hadn't heard until I became an adult. And it's true. The racism is the competition for wealth and resources between groups of people. The reason that, you know what I'm saying, a whole group of people will turn on black people when they bring out police brutality is because they're protecting something. They're protecting money. They're protecting a class, a certain standard of living, and we're a threat. We're a threat to that. But all niggas think about. I mean, I don't know, man. We need to really figure this out, man. Because if a nigga gonna die, he might as well die for something. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're killing us for no reason already, anyway. Mm-hmm. Like the dude who, who snapped in Dallas when he was shooting up them cops. Right. If they had like the people in. Um, uh, 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 ba- Baghdad, Iraq, mm-hmm. who put top bombs to themselves and just running them buildings where them people at the colonizers are, right? And blow themselves up. They it, it's people who show. I'm not scared to die for what I believe in. There are people who show that, right? But the average person who brought up in America, you are just trying trying not to get caught up in the shit. Mm. Think about that. You mm. could, you taught to survive like a bitch, right? <laughs> Why? Because yeah. you was raised by one. Yeah, right, straight up and down. I don't want no shit. I don't want nothing. Like I ain't finna go out there and say none of them motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> what niggas don't understand too is if you barely making it out here, if you barely surviving, what do you have? To the do? system is the already has shit in place. For when you make that one big mistake, I wish that chat room could go down because some motherfucker said some shit that get under my nerves. Somebody say. Uh, Corey, you just don't know. Uh, Mexicans don't like black folks in L.A. Like, I don't even know where that come from. They, they, they always right. say some dumb shit like but that. But I just, I just want to say this about that. I don't know all of how it go with mm-hmm. everything in L.A. But I could tell you this. I could tell you this. I done met some gangster-ass Mexicans. That's motherfucking solid with black folks. 
And I done met some motherfucking gangsta ass niggas that's solid with Mexicans. Right. Now, in between all that, I'm sure it's a lot of yeah, bullshit. That gang shit yeah. and everything, yeah. It's a lot of bullshit. Right. But to get to the bottom of it, what we do. Because I'm here to tell you, if you a Mexican, you have been prosecuted just like mm-hmm. You know how it go out here in L.A. Oh, yeah, they yeah. know. You know how they do Mexicans, blacks, and any other thing that they feel like is not represented. Right. right. If you kill a Mexican on the street, Mexico ain't coming to mob on the United States of America. Right. If you kill a black person on the street, Africa is not coming. Ain't no um, mm-hmm. vibranium for real. <laughs> <laughs> He's a motherfucking lie. Fubu got a, a brand of chains coming out. Made out of now. It's gonna hold them. It's gonna hold I'm just saying, <laughs> motherfuckers ain't look. That shit, that movie, Black Panther, motherfuckers like, oh, it ain't all that deep. That shit is kind of deep, yeah. motherfucker. Yeah, who coming to get us from what we've been through? Right. Nobody. We <laughs> got kidnapped. Where you motherfuckers at? What's the same? We all we got. Nigerians, <laughs> y'all come out here right? and y'all motherfucking blend in. Mm-hmm. Right. Y'all don't motherfucking come out here to mob. Confine it's all right, Frank. I'm just saying, it is what it is. Straight up and down. We man. all fucked up by the same motherfucker. There it is. And all of, the motherfucking, uh, all of the motherfucking Mexicans who are prejudiced against black people, okay, okay, put their ass on blast. Exactly. Especially individually. If you know one, put them on blast. If you know black people who prejudice against Mexicans, put, put that on motherfucker blast. on blast. Right. I don't fuck with racist motherfuckers. Period. Not yeah. at all. Yeah. If I feel like you a racist, I don't give a fuck who you are. White, black, Mexican, Asian, you name it. I get the fuck away from you. Because yeah, I, <laughs> yeah. I know what that type of energy brings. Bullshit. Right. Mm-hmm. You can't fuck with no black hearted motherfucker. No and dirt. that's what these rich motherfuckers want anyway. They want racism. With- because racism kills communication. Right. So now instead of me, you say you're Mexican and, and, and I'm Chinese. Now instead of us being cool and talking about, hey, how much uh, uh, that old white man paying y'all? We ain't talking about that. Now right. we're not fucking with each other because you, ch- I'm Chinese and you Mexican. Right. right. We now now we can't really have a collective communication to figure out if the system is paying us what we worth. Now it's all about our differences. And then when you get to this country, this shit is all about paper, man. Mm. It ain't about yo yo. I mean, it's about skin color for sure on our level. But at the end of the day, it's about paper, man. Niggas need to come together. But, it, for, but it's interesting because I caught another one. Somebody that said, oh, yes, the ones. Somebody say, when have Mexicans stood against white supremacy, Corey? I, the, the I'm going to tell you like this. The War of 1812, they tried to fight for to, to keep California as a part of Mexico. They lost that oh, war. Oh, there's a lot of wars. But they also the French, fought. The, everything, yeah. You, you got to remember one thing, too, about being Spanish. A lot of people think that uh, Spanish is not a European language. It's a European language, so the Mexicans fought to get this get Spain from out of Mexico. So they did fight for their independence too. Right. Mexico, they got a long, rich history of being warriors. Mm-hmm. They with the business and have been since day one. So don't get that. I twisted. tell you this. I tell you this. Stay, I'm gonna answer country, that question. We in. I haven't been in California my whole life, but I'm here to tell you. When Donald Trump came out here with that campaign shit, that mm. motherfucker was scared to come out the building because them motherfucking Mexicans was at his ass. Them motherfuckers was out there like, where he at? Right. Mm-hmm. And that motherfucker did not come out with that speech shit or that talk shit because the crowd was hostile. And inside that crowd, it might have been Mexicans who only about that shit for Mexicans. They might be like, fuck niggas. You think I ain't ran across Mexican prejudice since I've been out here? Right. I have. Right. I have. A lot of a lot of a lot of Mexicans who I met out here who I always check their ass when I run up on them, the ones who kiss white people ass. <laughs> it's a lot of them who do uh, that. Not Uncle Tom, mm-hmm. Uncle Jose's. <laughs> Uncle Jose's, right. Well not only that, remember yeah. how you said how you you know a lot of people prefer to keep that race strong. So it's a, you want a black that guy to marry a black woman. It's the same thing. So when they say, oh, a lot of those Mexicans are racist, no, and when, until you walk in their door or something like that, somebody made some comment. Well, the thing is the same there. 
Do you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. they just want to keep that going strong. Like okay, oh, uh, but you keep what's that look? But they won't go. They won't show hate. I, might I be, mean, I've, I might I've be experienced too bold this. to say. I might be. It's a dude who works with us who prints the shirts. Now this is a real Mexican talks, dude. Yes, he actually sends all I'm his about, money to Mexico. That's it. That's all he does. Not that. Hey, what's up? Not, Talk he, about that. No, at Chicano. He hey, wasn't bro. born here. He was born in Mexico. Is Canada. that what they call it? At, Chica- they... at Chicano was somebody that was born here. But your relatives, ancestors are from Mexico. So he was not. He actually came from Mexico. He yeah, has, Mexican everybody is lives not here. a race. He's the only I know one that. here working. He works here. He's very polite and professional when he talks to me. But I pick up on certain shit where, how can I put it? I feel like he's proud to be who he is and he fucks with Mexicans. Right, like he, that's his shit. And like if he it. had you a woman, a I bet he got a Mexican woman. Right, right. He ain't got no other type of woman. He got a Mexican woman. And you go to a party at their house, you'll see nothing but Mexican. The second person, but in Mexico, but but check this out. When he is in my presence, uh-huh. he is very respectful. So what the fuck I look yeah. like acting like? Oh, he only fuck with Mexicans. <laughs> that's insecurity <laughs> in the motherfucker. Right, right. And a lot of motherfuckers up there don't want to talk about their insecurities or how fucked they are in the mm-hmm. game. Mm-hmm. So they want to say, oh, let's say this about this uh, a whole race yeah, of people. Be mean and right. hate. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you shit on the whole race of people. <laughs> Are you fucking serious, mm-hmm. motherfucker? I, I mean, I'm just saying, dog. You can't you can't sell me bullshit in all races, yeah. even white people. I done met some motherfuckers that's about something. Right. When I say on the respect side of the game, because mm-hmm. that's all motherfuckers really got to give is respect. Respect all day Motherfucker Don't disrespect me Motherfucker Exactly Oh yeah A couple of y'all wrong too man it's What they the, say It's the second They said the first president Of Mexico Was black It's the second president His name is Vicente Guerrero They named the state after him mm-hmm. the Guerrero right. So it's not right. the first He was black Yeah he was black He was black yeah. and Indian Yeah yeah, he was the general of the army that kicked out, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, you can see it, too, in his yeah. pictures. Great. I mean, but they ended up killing him. He only lasted, like, three, four months, That's and then <laughs> and then they yeah. killed the nigga. But he he was the Blanco. Yeah. <laughs> and I might have been wrong about the era, War 1812, but it was somewhere in the early eight, uh, 1800. Was it? When was Mex- the Mexican-American War? Was that Somebody say we have no friends against white supremacy. Like you talking about I agree with that. French? No, when when America, uh, when Mexico and America went to war over California. Oh, I'm not sure what happened, yeah, but they lost. Said that wrong. Yeah, they lost. They lost. Hell yeah. Because was- motherfuckers run this shit out here. Oh, straight like up and down. Straight they up. got motherfucking systems out here where my homeboy was working down there at the motherfucking um, Department of Child and Family Services. Mm. Mexican women set they men out. Just like black women yeah, set their men out. Mm-hmm. Right. But Just like in Iraq. Right. When they get through with what they doing, it's going to be child support out there. <laughs> oh Sheiks, Lord, Sheiks who had 12 <laughs> wives, they're going to they they split. It's called divide and conquer. Right, yes. right, right. That's what it's called. Black Appreciate people, that. Black people was in America when they took this motherfucker over. We was here already. Right. Most definitely. We was the first. Most we was the first. That ain't me. That ain't me trying to say something to be like, nah. Yeah. We was the first. You know where Mexicans and we gonna be the last. You know where Mexicans is winning that we ain't winning. And I I can't hate, but I'm like, damn, it's fucked up. So with the whole child support thing, if somebody say these other races shit on us every day, they do. You right, these other races shit on us every day, and you know who else? Whoever think they can win, the weak motherfuckers, even your woman. Your woman, your woman, go to the courthouse against you eventually. Of Most right. of you motherfuckers, right. you yeah. talk about what everybody else doing against you. Wait, don't you got a case? Right. Either divorce, oh. child support. Child that bitch ain't right. down with you. That bitch went to them people. Right. Mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. What the fuck yeah. is you talking about? Are you? Can you please wake the fuck up and realize it ain't? It ain't nobody. It ain't nobody but them devil motherfuckers. Man, them yeah, the motherfuckers yeah. in charge of all the bullshit in the world. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Didn't nobody come here and kill the natives but the Caucasian people? <laughs> the Indians and blacks they and, and Asians and everybody who was here. It wasn't no, oh, we finna take this motherfucker over. Shit. The Caucasians mm-hmm. came. Yeah. The colonizers. Everywhere. The Congo. Came and took yeah. it 
over Tanzania. and they doing it all over the world now with their internet where you become so si- you, you desensitized to all of the awful shit you see on this mm-hmm. motherfucker you can let anything happen to your people yeah right now are. them people are still suicide bombing out there in Iraq and mm-hmm. everything because they ain't used to that shit they ain't, but now that America has made it they business to take that shit over we want this land too. We finna take over this shit. Yep, here they go. Eventually, them bitches who wrap their whole body up because you ain't posted, you know, as part of their religion, right. them bitches gonna be on the internet twerking <laughs> oh, just like these shit. dumb bitches out here. Yeah. Give it about mm. 50 years, niggas. Talking about, you don't like women. Turn the village against you. The whole predictable you shit. Treat me like <laughs> animals. You don't like women, Corey. Yeah, <laughs> they gonna be doing that over in Iraq. <laughs> yeah. In a little bit, them bitches gonna be twerking. Fuck a, fuck a turban. This my <laughs> pussy. You gonna be just like them Trump soldiers. Damn. Hell right. yeah. They've been doing. They've been <laughs> Let's doing move this on to some long more lighter time. stuff. Uh, Somebody say Corey is way off code. <laughs> that's funny. Anyway, uh, so this Thursday, uh, and they killed his ass. People in Minneapolis are planning on celebrating Prince's birthday this Thursday, June 7th, uh, with a three-day tribute, which includes a music festival, a bus that will take people around to the many locations that the movie Purple Rain was filmed at, and a screening of the film in a theater. And then 60 Butterflies at the end of the last day will be released in a lieu of what would have been his 60th birthday. My brother. They also mentioned that his family members will be present uh, for all the festivities. And all the festivities, by the way, if you can make it out there, are free with the request that donations be made in any amount to go towards the permanent Prince mural that is going to go up in the downtown area. That's dope. Well, I, 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 another thing I want to say about Prince, he was he was... Prince Michael Jackson and Whitney Houston had very wow. uh, catalogs that was worth something. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Probably more than any other black artist. And they gone. Yeah. Way before they time. And yeah. it's not a coincidence. Because it ain't no repercussions. <laughs> Whatever the fuck they do. You think Prince just died? They try to say he was a drug addict. Really? Okay. Now what happened to Mike? Some more drugs? <laughs> what happened to Whitney? More drugs. I believe Whitney was fucked up, though. Whitney was out there bad. <laughs> <laughs> you see the picture they showed of the That's hotel room? Up. Well, that, that, yeah, the one that he was going to use for the cover, Kanye. Yeah. He used the, what, her tea. hotel room to show all her crack paraphernalia when they found her dead, all yeah. her do- drug paraphernalia. They threatened yeah. to sue him, so I don't think they're going to use it. The bathroom uh, sink with all, with the, all the paraphernalia he used and that stuff. His album like cover. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, he bought the picture for 80 grand. Use it as his album cover. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm not a fan of Kanye West because of that suck ass shit he said. That's why I'm gonna say this. I could think of an album cover you should have thought of, motherfucker. Now I'm gonna be nice. No. And fuck not that. say it. No, 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 no don't. I think <laughs> but I motherfucker, you want to talk about some some motherfuckers doing some dumb shit to die? Oh uh, yeah, motherfucker! I know an album cover you could use. Oh, 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 that nigga wild. No. no, man, I don't like that nigga. I ain't got no respect. That's why I go there on him. Well, Talk about slavery is, is a choice. Is, yeah, that like nigga's a look, a hoe. Some of his people still like him because right now his, his album is uh, it's got a lot of hits. What oh, they yeah? say? Oh God, yeah. Okay. And he was all excited, and he said, uh, like he even put out a couple memes talking about uh, uh because he's saying he's finally diagnosed with bipolar. And uh, and then he was saying at this at the listening party, like, man, see, thank you. People still love me. I want to thank all the people that are still down with me. Wow. I wonder who those people are. Yeah. Uh, I, that would be interesting to see who downloaded his album. Like, I want to see what group downloaded his album well, if you're on Spotify, the most. You can actually see if somebody that you know got it. I wonder I'm what on, group I'm did on, it the most. I'm on Apple Music, so I don't know. But you could see that if you... <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, that's gonna be is it folks. the Kardashian people or what, what the fuck? <laughs> no, Who Armenians. bought Kanye album? I know Ar- I ain't buying that motherfucker. Armenians ain't fucking with Kanye. <laughs> Armenians <laughs> fuck with Armenians. Uh, white folks bought that. White folks. Yeah, white I bet folks. them the ones who hit it the most. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. they're half. Their mom's white. Their I can't are... fuck with you. I believe he is suffering from bipolar and he's sick. But... Um, I just don't like that shit he said. It's just me. Sure, of course. Just your puss ass up, nigga. Mm-hmm. Fake ass wanna be from Chicago ass nigga. You ain't no Chicago nigga. Get your puss ass out of here. Oh, and then somebody did. Somebody sent a message of where he was from. They well, DM'd us. I forgot. I'll look it up. But I, I, he's I heard he from, from a world like a motherfucker. I heard that motherfucker from uh, Little Rock. Arkansas? Yeah. 
But I don't know how true that is. Hmm. It's 9.39. Let me know when we're going to take a break because I wanted to give a shout out. Before I know we... his wife motherfucking uh, had a flat ass on that Ray J tape. <laughs> <laughs> if you get if you get that old Ray J sex tape, look at this little flat ass bitch. <laughs> this bitch ass looked like <laughs> God damn it! Recess in the suburbs. <laughs> this nigga still with his mother. Flat ass. Uh. That bitch got the flat ass on the Ray J tape. Now, after that, <laughs> bitch got the banging ass. Oh man, yeah, her shit. Yeah, yeah her shit. No, her shit right now. I ain't gonna lie. I, I smack her. Look, uh, look like Cass with a ghost ass. <laughs> <laughs> He's stupid. Yeah, like, yeah. Forehead ass. <laughs> anyway you, you done D uh, no I actually wanted to give a shout out before we go to break to Aiden Lede L-E-D-E-E from uh, Humble Texas how do you spell the last name again L-E-D-E-E so how would you pronounce that Lede Lede anyway he or she cause I don't know Aiden A-D-E-N. what is how's the first name A-D-E-N Aiden Lede Thanks, oh, motherfucker. Very first one. That nigga heavy. God damn it, the book of Corinthians. God damn it. Really selling bad. out every motherfucking where. I just want to tell everybody the reason we haven't put it in the mail already, because we got them here. We told them pre sale, so yeah. I mean, like, we had to get this motherfucking law shit together, yeah. and it will be done tomorrow. And I'm about to start getting them things out because I feel a, good yeah, about it. Yeah, you'll get an email once it, it hits the, uh, the the mail, it's right? The mail. It's the post That's office. And just FYI, really quick. How do how do they get them? Where do they go? They got to go to the uh, the site, the Big Cartel Fifty One Fifty store. Uh, really how quick. How do they get there? What is that mean? on CoreyHolcomb.com? Yeah, just... they can do. They can look there too. It's merchandise. They can go on CoreyHolcomb.com. They can go on the app, the app, and it'll take them there. What app? Corey Holcomb for the people app. who don't know. Oh, the Corey Holcomb free app. If you download it, it's free. And it has the merchandise section there. I just want to make a quick announcement that there's some people that ordered clothing, like merch, with that. And they've got to be aware that they're not going to get the clothes until that sell, sell, sends. And that's pre-sale. So I'm sorry, but they're not going to. I'll, be, gonna, able, I'll be able to handle this um, by tomorrow. No later than yeah. Thursday. So those that because the there are people who probably will come to the show in Phoenix. And they be looking for their gear. But Phoenix is right there, yeah, motherfucker. So Drive up here and get it, Nick. <laughs> no, <laughs> so I'm sorry if you five ordered any hours. clothing with right. that. It's not going to go out until that ship. It's five so. hours when Zoe drove. <laughs> I took gear out there last, last time. Last time we went there, everybody just drove out there. I did. Yeah. I took I took uh, the car. I could not even see out of my car. I took all kind of gear. <laughs> you coming out there, Nick? You going to hit the stage? And when? <laughs> That's not this weekend. Next weekend. Yeah, I'll go In out Phoenix. There. What is it, Stand Up Live? Yeah, I'll be out so. there. That sounds like Phoenix, fun. Arizona, motherfucker. Uh-oh. You know we coming to turn that bitch out with y'all pussy ass downtown. My diddly, 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 D. Phoenix, boy, they got that motherfucking restaurant that's like Roscoe's, but that yeah. shit fire. Hey, that I forgot the name of that restaurant out there in Phoenix. Them red beans and rice is sweet as a motherfucker. Them motherfuckers. Talking about with the signatures on the wall. Yeah. Yeah, that shit fire. It's by the baseball stadium. Yeah, them motherfuckers, I was so glad. Thank you for the management out there. They grabbed me and pulled me in the back because I'm trying to eat motherfuckers like, hey, come sign this motherfucking chicken box for me, dick. <laughs> hey, motherfucker, I'm eating. Sign it with grease. Uh, <laughs> I can't eat. You want, you want me to stop eating to come sign a box, my dick? Get the fuck out of here, goof ass thing. I think it's Lolo's. That's Lolo's, what they call yeah, it. Lolo's. Yeah, that shit was fine, nigga. Arizona boy, I almost got killed out there back in the day. Man. What happened? You was out there uh, fuck with them tumbleweeds. <laughs> That's a long story, man. But fuck the wrong bitch out there. End up hiding in the trash can while a nigga was shooting at somebody he thought was me, man. Oh wow, <laughs> yeah. That's fucked up. Uh. In downtown Scottsdale, somebody man. Say bad ladies in Phoenix. I don't know. It's bad women every motherfucking mm. where. I was in Phoenix. What them girls was at the show? Goddamn it. Beautiful. I was like, God damn, this world, I don't know how a nigga is going to behave. Right, right. These motherfuckers are bad to the motherfucker. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get ready to take a break. Somebody say Lolo's in Vegas, too. I got to find that motherfucker in. Especially if this Vegas shit work out. Shit, I might be in Vegas doing a 
Internship. Oh, hell yeah. That'll be the shit. If that motherfucker get that paper straight. I, hey, if you watching the show, nigga, get that paper right, nigga. God damn it, I ain't coming out there off hope, nigga. Fuck that Obama campaign shit, nigga. Get that paper right, nigga. <laughs> and I will be there, god damn it, on stage, god damn it. Hell yeah, nigga. <laughs> well, fuck me out there tap dance. Yeah, you sharing the room with George Wallace, nigga. Yeah, live it out there. Corey, get your hands out that tub and let's go pay them dues, boy. <laughs> George Wallace, yeah. don't. No, George, why George Wallace? He a, he a big motherfucker. Yeah, that nigga about 6'3", right. seventy. He's he not just about to walk up on George Wallace. He old now, though, yeah. goddamn. Well, he's still yeah. strong, nigga. I shook his hand, nigga. He's got oh, he squares your hand, huh? Oh, I beat motherfucker. Don't worry about your it, Craig. You dog walk George <laughs> Wallace, nigga. But if you 5'8", 160. If you a little nigga, <laughs> yeah. George, bring that dick over here. Boy, let me chuck that dick. It ain't nothing. You want to you wanna open up for me, don't you? And his head and his face. He's got the biggest head and face. Oh, my God. Yeah, that nigga big. I got a picture of him. Me and him. I thought he played in the league, but he didn't. I thought, you know, somebody told me. Played football? Yeah, mm. but no. Nah. Maybe. You know, he that era where niggas. I'm George Wallace, and I'll fuck the shit out of little nigga. <laughs> I wish a little nigga would walk past me. Who that, Frank? Frank, bring your ass over here. <laughs> oh, he'll come to you, homie. <laughs> that nigga right Frank while Genevieve in the head. Right. Like, you see what I'm doing to your man? Right. <laughs> He can take it. I put things bigger than that oh. in his eyes. Oh, man. <laughs> Hurry up, though. <laughs> Boy, George Wallace. <laughs> yeah. Somebody say his brother played. Oh. Oh, okay. He big like him then, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and take a quick break. We shall return fast. So all you motherfuckers on the East Coast, goddammit, stay the fuck up. We'll be I'll right back. i beat the shit out of Canelo. He too small, nigga. <laughs> Fuck out of here, Canelo nigga. will beat the shit out of you. I will beat ass. the dogs, nigga. Boy, Fuck Canelo out. will beat boy. your ass, boy. You think I'm finna square off with Canelo? How you gonna whoop nigga, him? Nigga, I'm strong as a motherfucker. I'm finna, I'm nigga, I'm wrestling <laughs> that nigga. You choke him out? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not finna square up with the nigga. I'm finna choke <laughs> that nigga, I man. Can't. You and Corey. You know he right. on steroids. He'll be like, I, I beat your know. ass, albino boy. <laughs> 80 what pounds every day. What the fuck is Wero. Yeah, no, hey, you Wero. No. Oh, they call us Wero Way. Okay. <laughs> Canelo, you know I dog walk you, nigga. I dog walk the Wero. Don't oh, get me wrong, he Canelo's got hands, though. If I, if I try to do this, oh, he gonna mop me. Oh, yeah, we go, we wrestling, yeah. dog. <laughs> All day shit, long, dog. nigga. I'm not finna I'm go toe to toe with no motherfucker. I'm not finna be in a pocket, nigga, so you can just. Somebody say guns for Canelo only. I'm a Canelo fan though. He wanted. I, I like Canelo. He got a lot say of that, that Corey. That Corey picture is doctored. Which one he talk about? They really think that is. Which one? That the one, one modeling the, one. The one that they put up in the break. Remember the one you did last week. The, the new headshots. You <laughs> which one? The, the one that got the red thing yes, on. Yes. I right, motherfucker. See. Motherfucker, that fat ass nigga got y'all thinking I'm some little puss ass nigga. I ain't gonna lie, I done fell off a lot. But nigga, I got you, nigga. Oscar De La Hoya put hands on you. I'll beat the shit out of De La Hoya. But De La Hoya be trying to fuck. De La Hoya, another gay boxer. <laughs> nigga crazy. Ain't no lightweight nigga. No, man. Now them little bitty niggas, dog. They got they got wind. They hit hard. Oh, for sure. But this motherfucking weight and this headlock oh, is not. Yes, I will. They're gonna be like, I can't get out of it. <laughs> I know you can't get yeah, out of it. Yeah, yeah, Once I got that lock, I don't give a fuck who it is. Nigga, I'm taking away all that space. Nigga. All ain't that gonna be, oh, oh, oh. ain't gonna be no space. Some niggas strong. They'll last about two hours. They're flurry and boys. <laughs> I'm not going to let it go. go. <laughs> After a while, he's going to be like. You're going to take them with you. Size matters. They need headlock class. That's all yeah, you need yeah. out here, God damn it. Size matters. That nigga all said, right. Nate, at mm. Alex Thomas Storage Unit tonight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, had, no, Nate had a show tonight, right? Yeah, yeah he, he had a show. 5150, we'll be back, motherfuckers.
51 motherfucker, motherfucker, Bernie Mac style, 51 motherfucker 50. He was on this motherfucker, motherfucker 50. Motherfucker 50. God damn it. Shot Town, Bernie Mac used to host the motherfucking Cotton Club. Motherfucker. You used to go there when he was hosting? Yeah, I remember when uh he had just came off the Def Jam tour, so he came back to the Cotton Club. Right. So he was hosting again. Yeah. And it was packed. But by then I had established myself as one of the little young funny motherfuckers. Right. Bernie Mac used to ride everybody who come in the door. The stage right here, but the front door right here. So you gotta walk in there, motherfucker. Right, right. Uh I gotta bring up this real quick story about mm-hmm. that. Yeah, it was yeah. this comedian named Mark Reedy. Fucking brilliant. The front door right here. One day he on stage performing. Michael Jordan, Ahmad Rashad, and Jordan wife walk in with security. And everybody was at all looking. Like, oh my God. So Mark Reedy was just on stage like this. <laughs> yeah, they weren't paying no attention. Right. Oh. He was just doing this. <laughs> and then no as soon as Jordan right. sat down, he was like, and so I went over there. <laughs> That was brilliant. <laughs> Mark Reedy, comedian from Chicago. Uh, but I remember when Bernie had just got back off tour. Mm. And he was hosting. And, I, you know, he roasted everybody that walk in because that's what he used to do. I walked in the door. Everybody was like, oh. I, I walked in. I was like, oh, Bernie up there. <laughs> and Bernie was kind of like, what? What? <laughs> so it was kind of, it was like a, I, felt, I always felt good about that because, the Cotton Club back then, everybody used to bomb at that motherfucker. Hmm. You wasn't funny, motherfucker. Mm. Right. It was motherfucker, because it wasn't no crowd sitting down. Motherfucker was standing around. So you know how hard that is. Right, right. And the yeah. motherfucker got the music going in the back. So they patience with you was little by little. Hmm. But fuck that shit. Yeah, we worked on a song during the break. We gonna be the forget this shit if I don't motherfucking hear that beat again. Yeah, let's go on to start that motherfucking old... I want to talk to you, baby. Oh, shit. I ain't got my headphones on. There it is. What about the places that we may go? Yeah. yeah. This how it be, goddammit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got a little free time. You know what I'm saying? You got to tell your little boot thing what's up. <laughs> Let's come on in there. I'm coming through. So fix a nigga something to eat and get the pussy right. Because I love you. We're not really, but I'm willing to treat you like a queen and I'm coming through. So fix this nigga something to eat and get the pussy right, cause I love you. We're not really, but I'm willing to treat you like a queen and I. Yo, I'm coming through, I'm on the E-way now. You know how me and you get the fuck down. Sit on my face, I hope it's clean. If it ain't, I be looking real mean. But I still do the do, cause it's you, boo. And plus, I be kind of playing you like a fool. Making you think that you number one But I got another bitch with some big ass bun yeah. I'm coming, coming through So fix a nigga something to eat and get the pussy right Cause I love you <laughs> Coming through I can't help. So fix a nigga something to eat and get the pussy right Cause I love you well, not really, but I'm willing to treat you like a queen tonight I'll be there in a minute, yeah, I'm on my way Beat is off like a motherfucker today oh, I can hear it now In a minute though, stop blowing up my cell phone I'll be in it, ho I'm on the freeway, express lane to your house So I can dive straight into your mouth And show you what this pimp thing about Me and you do what we do, no doubt They be saying, why you coming over so late? What the fuck? And I be like, stupid bitch, why your kids still up? I don't want to meet them Don't want to greet them or say hi Every time I see him, I tell lies I'm about cool. how I'm going to be your stepdaddy. Yeah. And your Uncle Matty. Let me introduce myself. I could be your father. But your mama ugly, so I will not bother. As a matter of fact, I'm going to leave. Before I go, don't introduce you to Steve. My homeboy who look your mo- like your mother more. Because she's a whore. Didn't mean to tell you that from the door. But look. Your jaw hit the floor, never had a man talk to a kid like a man But I gotta prepare you for this other shit so you don't be sinking in the sand, nigga What? I can't hear the beat Turn the beat up Fix a nigga something to eat and get the pussy right Cause I love you (laughs) Willing to treat you like a queen even though you a dyke (laughs) I couldn't, my bad, I couldn't hear the beat I can't hear the beat that good either Yeah, that's what it is, y'all, I can't hear the beat 
headphones too low. Right, let's I said Corey said, fuck uh, y'all, nigga. They call me. That hook hard. That beat was low. Fuck the hook hard. That hook yeah, hard. Yeah, now I hear it better. Yeah, yeah. We need Genevieve here. We making excuses. <laughs> Damn, right. On the freestyle side of the game. Game. On the freestyle side of the lane. Lane. I show up. I bring a cup full of alcohol and let your kids drink it up. I don't know. I don't care. Why your daughter got that short ass hair? Huh. I hope you don't get knocked up by me. Have a baby ball headed by the name of RG. Oh, tennis break done and your tires get fixed. I'ma pay for it, lady, if you got that good shit. I'ma treat you like a woman, very rarely like a bitch. But if you do what I say, then we can get rich. What's the name? Call me Craig Pac-Man, where I'm from. Chew a bitch like some gum if she get to acting dumb. Never rap whack if I can hear the track going. I'ma stop flowing because this shit is over from now, oh, man. Yeah. Back again. See, I put the thing in her mouth till she burp. Nate like to take bitches to church. church. Make them pray for a Jesus that's bogus. I be saying, look, bitch, focus on the shit I'm saying. I ain't playing. See that flow? I can lay in all the shit that you're doing. doing. This is what my mind is brewing. brewing. You gon' be boohooing in the end. Cause I'm not your friend, we screwing. <laughs> About to get the fuck on. This was one of our wackest songs. <laughs> wackest song. She kind of chubby and she love me looking for a hubby. I can't let the good love die. Ah, fucked up. It sound like that weak nigga from Naughty by Nature. I hate her. Hey. Ooh. Bitch, look at it out, Frank. That hook is hard as a that hook is hard, nigga. I don't know why. We <laughs> that didn't beat do that. was off a little bit, wasn't it? It was too low. I couldn't hear it. But that yeah, hook that shit bumping. That's I'm, why niggas be in the studio like turn my shit up. I'm coming through. So get that pussy nigga, that shit hard. I'm that shit it's like, I'm coming <laughs> through. So get the pussy right. You fucking it up. Yo, I'm fucking, I'm fucking it up. Coming, coming through. through. Oh yeah. So, so fix a nigga something to eat and get the pussy right Cause I love you We're not really But I'm willing to treat you like, like a queen and I'm coming through So fix a nigga something to eat and get the pussy right That shit hard Cause I love you <laughs> Your homegirl fine as hell, but I know the bitch a dyke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Cornelius. Some motherfuckers oh, say I, I got a name. Kendrick Perkins face. Fuck y'all, dick. Oh, that's fucked that up. That hurt. Yeah, yeah. Hell <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. No Nate at the comedy store tonight, huh? Yeah. I might ride through that motherfucker. Oh yeah, he up there. Huh? See what's up. It should be all right. There won't be no bad bitches up there. No, that ain't his crowd. All bitches that look like they Nate fans. <laughs> yeah, they are. Nate female looking bitch fans. Hell yeah. Su- Go ahead, Nate. <laughs> they got that sumo social worker crowd. Nate. Right. They got them bitches. <laughs> like them bitches like that, that faggot in the theater, the, that movie The Last Dragon. <laughs> Jack them up, baby. Hey, Watch hey. the face, baby. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> For yeah. the people who know what I'm talking about, that was a funny ass scene. Yeah. On the last dragon. Nah, Jack him up, baby. <laughs> Watch the face, baby. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> it Koi it Moist it. Records. Mm-hmm. Koi Moist. Yeah, Somebody no. say crazy. They say you look like a ball version of J.I. Smith. Y'all ain't even got the same head. J.I. No, Smith got know. the square head. I don't look nothing like that nigga, man. Right. That nigga actually taller than I thought. That motherfucker is six seven. When I met him, I, was like, I thought he, he ain't was like, that tall. He's six seven, bro. No man, he ain't that tall. I wish he was that tall. Look that at nigga that. six seven. His, his height on My phone over there. Nah, he ain't this six seven. Man, we can put twenty What's on his name? it. Man, get the fuck out of here. You said J R Smith taller than Jordan. <laughs> J R Smith six seven. No, J R Smith about six three six four. Corey. So you said J R Smith. J. Was R. taller Smith. than Richard Jefferson when he was playing. J. R. No, J. About the same, <laughs> they same height. Richard Jefferson. Said, how tall is J. R. Smith, D? The, 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 uh, all, all that shit is hyped up. J. R. Smith about six three oh, six so four. You're gonna try and say that it's wrong. <laughs> it's gonna be what? I bet they ain't gonna say. I bet they ain't gonna say he over six six. It's gonna say six seven. I think. No hell no. J. R. Smith ain't no. Somebody say six six up there. Somebody right. Smith ain't six seven. They somebody got six five. He six, about six. He about uh, six three six four. It says six six. Yes, okay. Scotty Pippen was six seven. Right. 
But six six, that's right. not bad. But he's not six six. He's not that tall. He's I met the him. Roster. I know he's bigger than the Baron Roster. Davis. When Baron Davis had the team that went to the Rutgers, we took the bus down there. Baron Davis had a bus where he was trying to do a reality show where he had uh, me, uh, uh, this other comedian, and a whole bunch of players on the bus. And uh, even though I didn't see J.R. Smith till he got down there, um, but I was standing right by him. He about six three, six four. Stephen Curry six three. He yeah. definitely he. I don't know because Stephen Curry don't look like he as tall as he is. Yeah, he's six three, six, six three. four. Yeah. About six three, yeah. six two, six three. He Smith. ain't taller than J.R. Smith. Yeah, J.R. Smith. So you saying J.R. Smith is taller than motherfucking Westbrook? For sure. <laughs> Westbrook, Westbrook only six three. Six three, six four. Same <laughs> size as motherfucking J.R. Smith. No, nah, J.R. No, Smith. Smith was six seven, dog. He'd be a he'd be a problem. That's what I'm saying. That's why so he underachiever. He was supposed to be like a NBA. Somebody say J.R. Smith real height is six four. I can I just stop there. Okay, he's six he's six four. I know he was cool to the motherfucker when he saw me. He was like this. I was like, what's up, G? <laughs> that nigga had he game. Pat you on the head. Like I saw some nigga in Popeye's Chicken who played for the Washington um, Wizards. Uh, tall, light skinned nigga. I don't know why I can't think his name. Light skinned uh, nigga. Uh, uh, lefty. Is he a lefty? I think so. Light skinned nigga with yeah. the curly hair. Yeah, you talking about bumped that big center that time. I don't know why I can't think of his name. He played for him now. He played for the Wizards right now. It's O something. It's like an O last Oglesby, thing. no. Or uh. something like that. What's o. the light skinned D Ray looking nigga who played for motherfucking the Washington Wizards? It's O something. <laughs> uh, damn. It's, it's going to pop up in a second. The chat room will be no. Not Otto no, Porter, Otto motherfucker. Porter. No. The nigga with the hair. Somebody say Juwan Howard. Yeah. Oh, Obrey. Obrey. Obrey, yeah. 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 I'm like, I'm like, you know, we saw each other in Popeye's Chicken. I'm like, at first I wasn't sure if it was him. Because yeah. he was sitting down. But he was like, what's up? I was like, that's you, ain't it? He was like, yeah. I was yeah. like, what's up, my nigga? He a big said, nigga, right? He about he, six, about six, eight. seven, six, yeah. eight. Yeah. I was like, man, they thought you was soft. He was like, yeah, man, light-skinned, pretty nigga. They ain't know. I was like. Okay. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking with you, Obrey. You the homie. That nigga, that nigga, he fucking that Popeye's up. You. I didn't, but you know what? I be looking at my niggas like in the NBA. A lot of them niggas be thin, right? Oh, thin God, built, yes. and yeah. their legs. Oh my, they be Lord. thin. But then I met my nigga who used to be down at the Improv, play for the uh, Houston Rockets. Uh, he like uh, he play like the the foe, but he undersized uh, uh, the ball head nigga. He played for Toronto a couple of years ago. This is first year in Houston. What's the ball head nigga used to play for Toronto? Now he was in Houston this year. He was a starter. He had one game where he shot real good against um yeah, power the forward. Golden State Warriors. I thought they was going to win. Yeah, I don't know why I can't think of my nigga name. I can't somebody think. Say, somebody say you look like Jeffrey Osborne, the crackhead version. <laughs> Tucker. That's his name. P.J. Oh, Tucker. P.J. Tucker. I wonder is he from here because I, I always see him down at the Improv. Now, know. this is what I'm saying. P.J. Tucker? He a solid built. He like you. He on the diesel side of the yeah, game. Yeah. I be like, damn, this motherfucker. Well, that was like homeboy Big Baby when you saw him in person. Even though he was thick, he was solid, though. Yeah, no, he's yeah, solid. Big Baby strong oh as a motherfucker. He got, that, he got that weight on him, too, though. Shit. Yeah, P.J. Yeah. Tucker but, put a nigga out. God. Yeah, P.J. Tucker. Yeah, he he mad cool, dog. Yeah, he'll put it, yeah. That nigga be like, you going up this time. Anyway, I think y'all go. Look, this is the sleeper. I really think LeBron going to Houston. Really? I really think LeBron going there. Why not? Yeah. I mean, shit. Yeah. He going to get a ring. He what might. is it? ain't even nothing to worry about no more. Right. Nobody I, will beat that squad. Chris Paul, LeBron, and the gunning motherfucker. He, uh, yeah. he, he already bought a house here, though, but it could be for vacation. But so. anybody could buy a house in L.A. That's true, especially with that money, yeah. yeah. Like if somebody buy a house somewhere like in a, other, in a city like... <laughs> if you buy a house in New York, L.A., or uh, Frisco. Miami. That's just that's a that's, that's an asset. Right, that's what right. ballers do. Right. <laughs> right. I got a house in L. A. Nigga. Right. Hell yeah. But he ain't coming to the Lakers. I I hope he don't. He can't win no ring like that. Nah. He go to Houston. It's simple. Right. They gonna go, they gonna win seventy some games. I don't know about that. <laughs> Shit. Because he's not gonna play every game. He don't, he ain't gonna need to. Yeah. Chris Paul will be hurt by yeah. uh, game three of the first round. <laughs> but he could go to. Uh, 
it's a few other teams that is ready he could go to too. So you know, somebody say Chris Paul want money. They can't afford both. Shit, boy. Hmm. Chris Paul even saying he coming to motherfucking Houston. They say LeBron and George to the Clippers. <laughs> Ain't nobody coming to no motherfucking Clippers to play for these sorry ass motherfucking teams out here. Somebody say LeBron to the Spurs. I don't know. That might happen. Yeah. Texas is a good place to play because you ain't got to pay them taxes. Yeah, if you got money, it's a good place for your money for sure. No taxes like that. Somebody say he going to Philly. Somebody may come and play with him. Ain't nobody though. going to Philly. They got a motherfucker who worked for them with Twitter accounts putting niggas on blast. Is that right? <laughs> that Michelangelo shit or that? Or that uh, yeah. I think it's Jerry Angelo or something like that. They got one of their guys who work in the organization to hire up. He had a whole bunch of Twitter accounts putting motherfuckers' injury reports and everything on blast. Mm. Oh, he a wild boy. Yeah. Oh, this some punk ass yeah, motherfucker. He a wild. But he not a good fit in Philly. Somebody say anyway. LeBron to Milwaukee. Fuck, I'm going to Milwaukee to play basketball. Fuck. Nigga, they already got the Greek freak. It, it, nah. The Greek freak, raw, too. He but not, I yeah. think LeBron going to Houston. What else? What other team would be better than Houston? Texas. She knows she that nigga that. might fuck around and go to Golden State. <laughs> Go to Golden State. <laughs> man, LeBron ain't that type of nigga. Man. I hope not because I'm a fan, but if that nigga went to Golden State, I'd never. I, nobody even watched the game. <laughs> man, if y'all get this bullshit out of here, they got 80% all-star team starting. <laughs> and that shit don't work. I'm surprised it's working at Golden State because normally when it be that many good niggas on the same team, it don't work. But that shit working, bro. No, it worked because they got infinite offense. Yeah. Oh, boy, it's by far the best shooter that I've ever seen. It ain't even close. Dee, did you ever play any sports? All sports. I lettered in everything. You lettered? <laughs> she said everything. I mean, I played everything. When you, you what did you letter in? You didn't get letters when you played? Did you play in high school? Yeah, what did you letter in? I know Basketball, what softball, track. You was on the basketball team? Volleyball, wrist wrestle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wrist wrestle? I mean, I've never heard of that. No, no, they what can't. What is wrist well, wrestling? No, no, no. They can't legally call it arm wrestling. Uh, arm wrestling. Uh, no, no, they can't call it. I believe Deacon I'll show you wrestling. photos. I'll show you oh, no, pictures. He got arms for a girl. <laughs> don't trip. No, no, I'll I'll no I'm, I'm just, I never she heard She said don't trip. trip. No, they, can't, they can't call it arm wrestling. It was girls. <laughs> right, right. So, yeah, yeah, he yeah. said Corey tried to ignore that. He ain't want to get light skin credit. <laughs> yeah, I don't like, that's why I don't like going to say too many that. red niggas licking their tongue out. When, when, yeah. when, when he scored that basket last time, Steph and did this. I was like, oh, oh, nigga, I don't so like what? your whole Damn. ass out of here, nigga. So yeah. who cares yeah. what they look like niggas. when they playing good? Yeah. Nigga said he flirting. <laughs> that nigga's no, used it. to arm wrestle, goddammit. I did. I'll show you a photo. And then I wasn't even prepared because I got there in the morning. They're doing like a little... uh like a little festival type thing. And they were like, oh, and they had the best of us. And we were dressed in our school clothes. We weren't even, you know, prepared. Yeah. And they just took a picture. Oh, come on. I just played with her eye because she was my enemy. You know, so they got a good picture of me. You should see my face. I'm going to show you. It's but you was little then. What do you mean I was little? Yeah, I was it's, little. I was little then, but compared to them, I wasn't. I was bigger. What's the technique? Because it's all technique. Right. It's like four arms. The it's a lot of forearms and triceps to me. Because a lot of times people think biceps, but it comes from under here. Right. And back. That's why I love my back muscles. I love that my back more than anything else in my body. I was never good at that arm wrestling. Oh, this shit always start hurting right here. Uh, yeah, you could test you some get shit You get tendonitis. Up. That's yeah. why I have tendonitis right now on my left elbow. But nigga, that motherfucking uh, pencil fighting. Somebody said you was in the chess club, my nigga. I played chess. <laughs> oh, I, I played chess my now. My son plays chess, I wasn't yeah. in the chess club, though, but I played chess. Chess is bomb. Chess is big. I never beautiful. learned how to play chess. Oh, you love well, I chess. I don't, but I wa love watching and play, yeah. Chess one of them games. You say you love watching it? I like watching, especially if it's your kid. <laughs> I love my, seeing my kids play all that. Oh, it's some chess, though. Chess is what well, well, not like that, but I'm saying watching it live. At Crenshaw, like my kid will go play over there with Coden used to take Somebody said you fake strong. Craig. Okay. Fake strong. <laughs> All right, nigga, come see about it. Hey, I at least want to be. Big. Chess is like basketball, though, or where you can. Somebody say they love your back, D. I do too. I love my back. I work a lot on it. I, yeah, you do, I, huh? I do. Today we did, but Corey never comes to my classes. You should come, Craig. It's kind of weird Today when you see a girl did. with like a a back. Like mm -hmm. when I was on Wilding Out in Venus, or is it Serena? Serena was on. Man, she had a motherfucking cyborg back. Like that thing on Fox Sunday. <laughs> I, <laughs> I was like, damn. I don't want to get fat hanging yeah. off. You know what I'm saying? But that's all. But I don't want like, uh, I'm not trying to create wings or anything. Yeah. I'm just trying to like Well, when you get it. When you develop your back, 
when you stop fucking with the back, do it turn into like flabby? Where Hell be yeah, having, it can because it's connected to the chest muscles. So yes, you get right your in here. And then with the bras, because back the post suction. Well, because you uh, <laughs> not really. I'm sure they got a process to suck the uh, back fat out. Yeah, but it, it'll still be loose. You got to develop muscles. That's just skin. That's just fat. Flat. Are you yeah, fat back they, bitches? You doomed. <laughs> just, just keep, just keep. Somebody out say I lettered in snackathon. <laughs> Fuck y'all. <laughs> That's Get a good back. one. No, I have all. Somebody say you got Mr. Clean muscles, nigga. <laughs> that nigga crazy. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm, I did. I swam too. Yeah, I'm Charlie. Chubby <laughs> this it was called Charlie Tuna Swim Team. Yeah, Somebody, and four age class. Corey four works H. out with chicken weight ankles. See, I grew up <laughs> in the country. They don't know. So people that grew up out in the country know what four H is. Four H. What's that? It's all animals. So you get to deal with animals, agriculture, stuff like that. So when you're out in the country, you learn how to deal with all that. Getting having the calves be born and all that so you helping so a lot of deep stuff like that horseback riding everything so huh mm-hmm. learning like a mug somebody say d went to coolie <laughs> how you get rid of that fat on the lower back like you know what i'm saying like right in this area how do you get rid of sack fat like, <laughs> yeah, <just> straight <laughs> up though. sack too fat because i'll be, be like, cool and i turn around I'm like damn this shit right no, here you're talking about something else oh you're talking about balls yeah, right, right. sack dirty. fat, that <laughs> get sack older fat. Your... that's just weight that's gravity <laughs> you can pull your <laughs> you can't work i mean your balls <laughs> yeah you too can low. how you gonna work your balls when you soft like oh, you do male kegels right now i'm moving my shit up and down <laughs> oh so you're doing male kegels <laughs> yeah like, you can pull your when you soft you can go piss a nut on yourself you can do that though it's possible. Mm, okay. I don't think uh, <laughs> sack fat. Hell you need yeah. a sack fat weight. <laughs> it's a weight you shake like this. <laughs> or you can get some drawers. Sack that shake up. weight. <laughs> That's funny. Cricket eating. I wish they had a cricket like eating that. Champ. I wish they yeah. had one like that. I would have. <laughs> Craig need liposuction. <laughs> Greg got an L. <laughs> I, man, I don't like when um, Nate don't show up. Then I'm the biggest person on the show. Oh, ain't uh, this about no, I'm bigger than you, Nate. I need Nate fat ass to show up. <laughs> no, but Nate got that um <laughs> irregular gordo. abdomen. He's gordo. <laughs> yeah, that nigga built. A little gordito. But how tall is he? He's big boy though, right? Nate about uh six feet, six one. <laughs> what? He's that short? <laughs> <laughs> he about six one. He about six two, what? About six he one. About six three twenty five. Six two. He what? Uh, my son. Your son? You think your son taller than Nate? Yeah, yeah he's six two. So oh, he my height. No, yeah. your son ain't taller than Nate. See he what is it is. Taller. When somebody taller. say they look, I said this the other day. When I somebody say they six two, two next to each other, that means they six or six all about and six how, one. What's your height? He's taller than you. I always say I'm six feet. But and, and, and for real, and you're not. You're five eleven. I'm five eleven. A little it's bit so taller good. than five eleven. Ah, uh, but I say I'm six feet. That's why when people no, see me, they be like, one, "Damn, so nigga, I thought you were some big ass nigga." I know that's like, the same thing all the time because they made me look the same height on that album cover, so I look like the same. I'm, I'm not six two, six one. You know what fucked me up when I met Mr. T. Mr. He wasn't that big. Mr. T ain't but five, six, yeah. five, seven. But that's because his girth makes it seem like he's a bigger. You guy. know who little? Who oh. about five nine? Ooh. Five ten, Mike Tyson. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, he's not tall. Oh yeah, but that's nigga built tall. for war, exactly. bro. He'll fucking boy. knock your ass <laughs> the fuck <laughs> out. We ain't talking about no uh, 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 squeezing on that one. Nah. Oh, I don't nah. give a fuck who Hell you are. No. If I get your neck, if I'm under Here that motherfucker, go. it's you been one. Gonna hang on like a little <laughs> nigga. I'm not, I will. I don't give. I got to be dead to let go. <laughs> Especially if it's a motherfucker I know I got to deal with. Oh, like, yeah, Mike Tyson. Once you get a nigga neck, you ain't going to get it again. No. <laughs> no I think, yeah, Mike Tyson, you got to get that early. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, because as soon as he get comfortable, it's over. Somebody say church gut. Fuck y'all, niggas. We finna wrap this pussy ass shit up, nigga. Meanies. Yep. It's already 1039, goddamn yep. Let's wrap it up, then. Willie D Fire. got at me. Um, <laughs> I want to say, because Willie D, when he texts me, Right now, that means he watching the show and he want to say something. Come on back to L.A., Willie D. So you come on the show. What'd he say? He said, this guy in Houston named Phil Scott, who has the Advice Show YouTube channel with over 700K subscribers, he wants to link up with you for an appearance on your show or his show. What contact do you want me to send him? 
his mm. show is about exposing the system, police corruption, and white privilege. Mm. I'm going to call you, Willie. I'm going to get with that nigga. Get with that nigga. Uh, I want to say this, though. Now, this might be some hater shit, but I can't help it. I can't fucking help it. I'm going to start asking celebrities to come on my show. Mm-hmm. Why am I going to do that? So I can build content right? by having celebrities on. I mean, it's a lot of celebrities that said they down. Um, uh, I was on the plane the other day with the homegirl who sing. Um, I always blank on her name. What's that girl, Hathaway? Donnie Hathaway. Uh, Layla? Yeah. I was on the plane with her, and she said, yeah, come on. Um, most people, when I say something about coming on, they be like, you ain't going to beat me up, bitch. Or, about, yeah. well, or they'll the just gooey say raccoon. that to appease you at the time at that but moment. But I believe she'll come on because we always hit it off. Like, no, she was she, nice. And and um, uh, Marcus King managed her. I don't know if he still does. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, he was her manager. You know that, right? That's I why she was that. always up at Foxhole. I didn't know that, but yeah. I know mm-hmm. I would love to have her on there. And uh, a lot of guys that I run into, they... Um, Big Daddy King they said they're going to fuck with me. And, and I want motherfuckers to fuck with me because mm-hmm. I see it's another show uh, that people go on. And I just be like, why do everybody go on this show and build up his content? Like, it's almost like a thing to do. Fuck it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it. It's, no, no, it just happened. I know what you're talking about, but it just happens because. <sighs> It was a uh, it was a popularity game, so it's like oh it's exposure, it's popular, the name, and it. Are you talking about well, we got a lot of exposure on this show. A lot well, of people watch this show, so I'm I'm just saying this. All you the celebrities that go on, scares people away. I've they heard, what? The content is different here. It can scare a lot of people away. Okay. Well, we not bad guys up here, right? No, um, no, no. And I. We'll make sure that if somebody come on the show, don't nobody have it. Somebody said Vlad TV. Yeah. Vlad always have guests on the show. And he has an archive of so many black entertainers. Right. He's going to make money, not because he's talented like we are here. Right. He just let them go on his show and say some shit. Now he has an archive of all these fucking entertainers. Why? Why? That's what I would ask. Who is he? Like, why do you say, oh, I'm going on Vlad? I'm not dissing him. I'm asking, why his, why just, his just thing? It happened ahead of time. He, like I said, he had some numbers. <laughs> that nigga, tried to, some that nigga tried to type agent. He typed Vlad as an Agner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah. this thing is. <laughs> agent. I yeah. think, like, uh, if you white, it's easier to get black entertainers to come on your show on GP. Yeah. Right. right, but when you black and you be like, "Hey man, come on my show," it's like, "Oh man, do it pay?" Yeah, oh, all yeah. that shit. Now I can't do everybody podcast like I used to. I used to do that mm-hmm. shit, and I used to see motherfuckers charging to watch the interview with Corey Holcomb. I was laughing like, <laughs> oh. "Hell no, That's, funny. That's crazy." Oh, I asked Hell no, working late. She wants to come back. What happened? Oh, somebody asked if the Darla was coming back. I asked her. If she Vlad, you know, Vlad was a DJ man, and he was. He, that's how you know everybody Well that's cool Yeah. And I, look I'm saying I'm not saying don't go on Vlad's show But what I'm saying is You know what I'm saying We got something going here We got a lot of people watching the show So use the 5150 show As a way to blow your I shit up Look Louis Farrakhan Jr. died Is that what somebody just said up here Oh I don't know I don't Is don't that know. real don't tell people me that Cause I know one of his sons I don't know who it is Somebody say Vlad is Russian Oh shit well they gonna be after me huh no, he's cool. Nobody's hating on him. I hope that wasn't what true, man. I must say, Vlad worked for Putin. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. Das Vlad. Tried it. Hey, Corey, when is Black Jesus oh, coming back? Oh, I love back? Drink Champs. I don't know when Black Jesus is coming back. All I know is we taped it, and if they air it this year, y'all mm-hmm. going to be laughing because I act a motherfucking yeah. fool. I'm confident in what I did on Black Jesus this year. I act a motherfucking fool. The motherfucker was like, let that dick fuck the script with him. Let him say what he going to say. Mm. <laughs> like, so they're cool. Oh, they're wow. Cool so they're saying it is true? Right? I hope not. Who did? I don't know nothing about that, and I wouldn't dare say nothing about that unless yeah, I know for can. sure yeah. about that. Craig because... Facts, get it right. No, I just read it. I read it on the screen. I, I hope just, it ain't. might want to look that up. Yeah, I got to look that up. Maybe that's something we can talk about on the next show. Yeah. So we're going to wrap this one up. 
and get the fuck up out of here so I can take this condom off. <laughs> Somebody say get D-Ray on the I show. I love D-Ray. I That's will get D-Ray day. to come up yeah. here one day. D-Ray, you know what's up. Fuck yep. with me, nigga. Yep. We can talk about the first day you did comedy and how you talked about men at large so bad. Oh, that's funny. Uh, he talked about the fat singing group. <laughs> One of them was in the audience, and he just was Thank riding you, and would not Tony let up off that motherfucker. Uh, yeah, motherfucker was like, man. I ain't enough. He was like, oh, no. It's Fatzilla. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. It, it, that's that's what Dave Chappelle said on the Yeah. Was, was it 92? What was it? Well, I don't know. I'm saying I don't know when D-Ray started, but I'm saying he fucked him up. Somebody but just said did, Ray he, Grady. We're going to have Ray Grady back Grady, on here. Yeah. Wesley Snipes, will he do the show? Have you ever seen Wesley Snipes talk? He talk real proper. Yeah, he does. Yeah, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll be like. Mm-hmm. Doobie, doobie, doobie. Until he gets mad. Don't see him get angry. Oh, I get know angry. he know that karate and shit. Oh, he really know that shit? I thought that was movie tricks. I you got love for all yeah. the martial art guys. Hell man. yeah. If you little, though, goddammit, that Bruce Lee shit better be real. Here we go. Malachi Crunch. Here he what? Is. I was gonna fight this one motorcycle motherfucker. He was a little Asian motherfucker and he wasn't scared. But when I kept walking in the photo, he saw like, start growing. He was like, oh shit, he got bigger. But I was looking at him because yeah. that motherfucker. No, that's what I was bigger. Oh. I was like, this motherfucker might have that little. What's yeah. up? Are you motherfucker, <laughs> my nuts? You know Corey got them shoulders. So, them shoulders as they walk it towards you, like, ah. It's like it, it, you, you look bigger than you really are. And I think it's that shoulder girth. Okay, D. <laughs> shoulder <laughs> girth. That yeah. big, but it's his shoulder girth. We're going to make a song like... called Shoulder Girth. <laughs> shoulder <you> Girth. <laughs> shoulder Girth. Don't yeah. sleep on the nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Small in the middle, but he big at the top. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. That ain't your laugh. Your laugh is. <laughs> oh, Tiffany Haddison. Will she come on? Hell yeah, Tiffany the homie. I know she busy now, goddammit. They got Tiffany working. Get that money, shouty. Brazil. Get that motherfucking money. All right, so as I leave, I see you, Miss Lips. What's up with your crazy head? Uh, who the fuck else out there that I know? I ain't seen, what's his name? Ronan? Yeah. Ronan, you out there? Ronan, where you at, goddammit? What you blind, you blind motherfucker? Taking a brisade. Who else? Who else? We ain't Harmony. seen. Harmony, no, she around. Harmony ain't in the fuck chat, chat room, room tonight. No. I would have saw the name, goddammit. Hmm. Get out of here, Jamel McLean, Gene Kelly. I'm just reading, motherfuckers. James uh, Blunt, Franco Stutterfuck, uh, Night some shit. Justo Music, Cash De Niro, Cash De Niro, R. Banks, Melvin oh, Ray. Oh no, he did say Rude. You did say he do the show, but you kept saying, "Oh, we're gonna get. We need that." Sign thing. Yeah, we need paper. to have some shit. In we case. need to have some. Um, what who is, is Rude Jude? Rude Jude? You don't know who Rude Jude is? No, you talking about some 1980s? No, no that's with. the guy who gave us that that alcohol that we, that we like back there. Yeah, really? I just did his show. Yeah, that should be getting you fucked up. Yeah, <laughs> no, you look him up. He's on he's on Sirius XM right now. Though, but oh, props cool to Rude dude, Jude. Cool Dominic dude. Timmons. Nobody knew he was white. Bass All this time, red. a lot of those people didn't know he was Corporate white. Corporate conscious. Oh, really? Cool dude. Multiple sarcasm. I can't read all that shit that fast. Yeah, no, he's cool. Cashmere G, no culture, can you get a uh, cool Hoffa Laflari, whatever the fuck that shit was, Nick? Paul uh, Mooney, Dennis O just hold some shit. Larry O, Seb, Leon yes, Davis, Ali, yeah. Chanchi Moore, Melanated uh, Twenty Two, Shoulder Man, Gay Panda. <laughs> this shit Take is on Micro Machine, Nick. Lord Jamar, Deep so, Throat. Yeah. <laughs> Jabari, Relisha, Kenneth, the deep voice laugh. No, cool. That's funny. Ha 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 ha! Shit, man. I want to say to all of the people out there trying to make their dreams come true, do that shit. Do it the right way. That way, when you get it, goddamn it, you ain't got nothing to be ashamed of. It's a lot That's of right. fake ass motherfuckers out there doing a lot of fake ass shit, using other people motherfucking shit, other people's content, mm-hmm. other people's picture and likeness. It's motherfuckers out there who motherfucking D. You know I, I'm gonna tell you something. I saw you on a shirt one day, on sale in the store in Atlanta. One day we talking about all the time. Uh, yeah, we get all kinds of hits of people saying here, here, here. I just put Glenn on it. Glenn is the photographer. Oh, he so owns the. No, he no, owns no. The, but, uh, he, but he who owns the photo? Me. 
He owns the photo, we do, right? But no, he gives me full rights. But he'll if if I send it to him, he'll just send it to his lawyers and they'll get on it for me and he'll have them send me something. That happened with the skateboarders. There's all kinds of people that have that that image on all kinds of stuff. But yeah, they they they. It's it's so crazy out there because it's been out there again. The end of this year will be the thirtieth. That anniversary. shit happened. Ain't nobody it's got no paperwork on you. Oh, no, it ain't yeah, a, they can, but I mean, there's so many. You know what I'm saying? It's so out there. It's been it's thirty years old. So, right. Yeah, know? it's some nigga. It's a cl- it's urban a legend nigga. He he be doing Rita G. Uh, he got her he got her picture on some of his shirts, and he ain't got no paperwork with her nothing. Yeah, no, no you can get after him. I don't have to buy. I'll just send nigga to in Glenn. Vegas now. He's from Glenn, Cleveland. And we Glenn, own it, nigga. And Glenn Friedman is a photo- photos for everybody. Hello, Cool J, the Beastie Boys, everybody. So you just, I'll send it to him and tell him who, and then he'll get his people after him. So that's why the that's why the special ain't out because when the bootleggers come at me with that bullshit, mm-hmm. I got something for you. That's, I got something for you. Now, if you ain't working with shit and you ain't got shit to lose, I feel you. But uh, that's funny, Miss Lips. I love you. <laughs> What she say? What they say? She said, uh, Corey, uh, Darlene's famous. <laughs> In my own little right. <laughs> yeah, Darlene is famous, goddammit. Definitely. Aw, don't play. Craig famous too, goddammit, on the okay. Mr. Clean side of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Hey, you yes, gotta show he did me that. Tupac. Two weeks before he was murdered, he came to our house for the last time. Really? Yep. Rest Douglas please. Smith. I bet we say that name. Thank right? you, Douglas Smith. <laughs> yeah, thank you for that. Goddammit, Douglas Smith got that deacon body. That nigga named Amen. Douglas. That's funny, Milf. I don't know. Yeah, Darla was uh, working late tonight. Who is Darla? That's uh, my homegirl. The girl who came that time? Yeah. That them? Super She'll sweet. go. Super sweet. She'll go. Aw, thank you. Who said that's so sweet? Thank you, Demiel. Demiel Royster. Fuck yeah. you get your last name from. Corey's true. Somebody say, bisexual. bring Tony Baker on the 5150. I will. Okay. I will. DC Young Fly. He uh-huh. fuck with me here. Come on here, goddammit. I don't know if his management will let him on there. No, Tupac was not short. Yeah, Tupac was short. He wasn't no tall nigga. No, but he wasn't shorter than me. I'm 5'6. Well, I'm not saying like, he was a little nigga. Any okay. nigga under 5'6. He was about 5'9. 5'10, 5'9, yeah. Yep. Frank, how tall are you? Hi, Manny Fred. Frank said he 5'10. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got a tape measure. <laughs> Here we go. Now, Frank about 5'7 and a half. Yeah. He 5'5. Five, five. <laughs> How much you weigh, Frank? 136? Uh, yeah, right about 136. Right about there. <laughs> Carlos Villa from the 8. No Corey wearing not. a size 8 outfit. Fuck y'all niggas. Lewis Somebody Diggs. say bring the bring the raccoon back. Never do that sucker ass shit, no. sucker ass oh, nigga. God, no. That goof ass nigga out of here. That mm-hmm. nigga ever say he get money in my face again? I'm gonna knock the shit out of his ass. Uh oh, it two. is. I'm getting money. I made two million a year. Get your puss ass out of here, nigga. You out of here trying to motherfucking short. pay a note. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, exactly. As everybody gets ready to go to bed tonight, I want you to roll over, look at your woman, and say, if you would have washed up, I'd have hit that. <laughs> 51 motherfucking 50 we out you got to wash your ass <laughs> <laughs>